Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Okay, good. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> the channel that I usually have my mic on just stopped working. I had to reconfigure it. I have no idea why. I haven't touched this computer or anything since the last time I did a live stream, so I'm not really sure why. It would have en do anything different at all, but pff, I haven't a clue. <laughs> so I'll turn it up. So hopefully you can hear me fine. 
But I have no idea why that happened. That was very bizarre. Huh. I don't know. Computers. Computers, they suck. They do what they want to do. Oh, let me grab my thing out of the printer. My papers. Because I've been running around for the past like two hours and literally didn't get anything situated. Hmm. For some reason, my paper printed every other one. <laughs> Weird. I don't know what's going on. This thing is not working for me, I guess. Oh well, I'm gonna have to... Oh, maybe they're over. I don't know what's going on with these papers. When I print something, it prints off like 9,000 things and then doesn't print what I actually need it to print. Don't know. There's a demon in my computer on everything I own or something. Don't know. Very weird. Yeah, Janie told me about it. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. <laughs> it's funny. I'll have to remember to look in there when I get out my fall stuff, which I'll be doing soon. I've been organizing and cleaning and straightening up, and yeah, it's been interesting, <laughs> to say the least. It's been interesting. Um, yeah, that should go this way. So what have you guys been doing this weekend? Anything fun? Hi, Gail and Mary Jane and Sherry and Karen and anybody I missed while well, my microphone was acting like a fool. Acting a fool. <laughs> binge watching? What were you binge watching? Anything good? What's wrong with this paper? Okay. Well, well, that's not right. No, it's supposed to be this way. These papers printed out so bizarre, and I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Very weird. No idea. mind of their own, and that printer does for sure. It's because I don't have Word on my computer right now. So I have to reinstall all that, but I haven't had a chance. I haven't, had, haven't really had a chance to do much of anything. Happy birthday, Sherry! You don't look a day over 60. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you look like. <laughs> no, that's all right, Karen. I'll remember. But thank you. Yeah, because I think I have Halloween stuff in there and or Christmas stuff. Maybe I don't even know, but I know there's stuff in there, so. Well, we're going to sing happy birthday to Miss Sherry. So, let's all get our birthday singing voices together. 
and we'll do uh we'll do a what a 10 part harmony <laughs> everybody in here pick a part <laughs> pick pick a part that you could sing <laughs> And let's sing happy birthday to Sherry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sherry. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Oh, is my camera not working? Hello? I have my hand under the camera and it is not working. It looks, you can see my desk, I think, but I don't know, all of a sudden my camera's, what's going on today? Seriously, what is wrong with my camera now? Oh my God, I'm gonna kill this freaking computer. What is it happening? <laughs> the hell? I, I put my hand under because I was like clapping and I realized I looked on the screen and my hands weren't there. I don't know what you guys are seeing. Can you guys see my hand or you just see my desk? I don't know what's going on and why. Literally, I don't understand. Is it here? No, it's not working either. I don't understand what's going on. Something's wrong with this thing. I don't know. Every All my settings are like all screwed up. <sighs> Jesus. Uh... Let's try this and then activate it and maybe it'll work. Nope. Nope. Now the screen's probably black. Hmm. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. It had to, it had to, it had to adjust itself, I guess. I don't know. There's all kinds of problems going on here. Don't know what's going on. Something's happening. Something's going on. There we go. Anyway, I don't know. Beats me. It's the, the gremlins have been messing with my computer. They were doing live streams while I wasn't around. And they changed all my settings. Did you guys see the pictures of Winnie and Willow all groomed? They got groomied. Not Winnie and Willow, Tigger and Willow. Winnie was done already a couple of weeks ago. Hi, Tanya. And anybody I missed, Rebecca, Jeannie, I don't know if I missed you guys. Hello, hello. And Deborah Reed, hello, hello. Did you see the picture and the tags that ATC your mom sent out? I think she got two of them out in time. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. I didn't see them. I'll have to look for them. We never figured out shipping. We didn't? I sent you the packages, didn't I? Oh, are you talking about from the last auction? There's a couple of people that I did not get finished, which I'll be working on tonight. 
Um, so you'll have a, a total tomorrow. So yeah, if you get anything today, I'll add it in. But yeah, I, I ended up not feeling well for a couple days this week. Almost had, almost went to the emergency room because I was in so much pain. Um, my xiphoid process was really bad and it was hurting for a long time. And I was like, but I didn't go because I was like, Ugh, I don't really want to go, but you still owe me? Oh, I don't know. You'll have to message me. I don't remember. <sighs> No, you didn't either, Stephanie, because I didn't get I didn't get that far yet. There's a couple of people, like a handful of people, like four or five people that I didn't get to. So I'll just if you end up getting anything today, I'll just add it in and you'll get a shipping tomorrow though. Because I had a few days where I didn't feel very well and then I had to continue getting things straightened up because I'm having company on Tuesday, so I'm a little behind. All right, I have a few things to start out with for sale. Um, if I can locate them. Oh. Well, let me do this first. Um, so I have these. I have some rolls of these like sticker things. And the reason why I thought these were kind of cool is there's some there there's some sort of like coffee things from Nashville something I don't know some sort of coffee thing I think and these are like labels for them I guess no what is this yeah it says coffee roasters yeah so but what I like about these are is their paper on the top so they're not like shiny and they're not like um, they're like paper what I was thinking of was for the jelly plate these are a nice size to take like you know, take three or four of them and put them on your jelly plate and, you know, it'll obviously cover over the label and then you'll have cool, like, you know, jelly printed stickers that are nice and sticky that you can use, you know, in your projects or whatever. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'll be doing that possibly later tonight because I have my own roll of them. Um, so later tonight after the live stream, after the auction, I'm going to get my jelly plate and I'm going to start jelly plating some of these because I think they would be fun to have. Um, so I have three rolls of them. They're equally about the same size. Um, I obviously didn't count them and Laura's not here to yell at me and say she wants to know exactly how many. I just went based on the thickness, you know. So um, what I'm going to do is put them at, you know, like three bucks a roll. There's a lot on here. And... This way, the first three people that say they want one, you know, will get one. Just say me. When Janie says go, you say me, and you get one. Don't forget, if you haven't read the rules for my auction, please do so. Um, you know what? I might have forgot to put them in the thing because I was fiddling with that damn... Who's it? Janie, do you have the rules handy you can put in the link? Well, go ahead and say me for that, but then she'll put the link for the rules in, too. Um, we got Karen, Crystal, and Jeannie, um, for these. But yeah, um, so if you're new here, the first part I'm doing a little bit of things that are for sale, and then on most of the other, after this, the few things I have for sale, I'll have auction stuff, like actual auction stuff. Um, so if you haven't read the rules, Janie just put the link in, and I will take this link and make sure it goes in the, Nightbot should put the link up every now and again too, but I will go and put it in the... in the 
description so that it's right in the top of the description, which I didn't do. Okay, that should be good. Okay. So make sure you read the rules completely if you've never been to one of my auctions or you haven't ever purchased anything and follow the instructions and the rules before you bid on anything, please. Anything you buy today, you pay for today via PayPal. Your shipping will come to you separately. And yes, you have to pay for shipping. Okay, I also have I have some dies that are a cool kind of um, geometric pattern. Um, so I'm gonna do two dollars a piece on these, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And it'll give you a cool for like your mixed media stuff. You can like, you know, cut it and then you can use pieces of it to put on your different elements of things. Um, so I have six of those. Whenever Janie says go, they're $2 each. Just say me. So I got Rebecca, Crystal, Teresa, Karen, and Mary Jane. I have one more, and Tina, okay, Tina, Tina, I have no more. Okay. Karen, you're only two and a half hours from the Jersey Shore. Keyboard's mucked up. Why is your keyboard mucked up? You got a mucky cr keyboard? <laughs> I just switched my keyboard out. I got one at the Creative Reuse and switched it out because the one that I had was mucked up. And it was very annoying because like I had two keys on it that were like that would stick. <laughs> And they were keys that I use all the time. Like my backspace key was always like sticking. It was driving me nuts. So I'd go to hit it and it would then continue to backspace a whole bunch. <laughs> and I'd be like, stop. <laughs> and it did that all the time. I lived with that for like a year before I changed, finally got a different keyboard.
Hi, Debbie. You gonna be in and out? How come you're going to be in and out? What you up to? I also have um, needles, and they're the kind, the blunt needles that are good for journal making. They've got the nice big eyes on them, well, and there's three different sizes. So if you're interested in these, I'll do a dollar fifty per bag. Um, I have a bunch, so I think I did these once before, but I had some left, so I don't know if I did. I think so. Oh, that's cool, Renka. So if you're interested for a dollar fifty, get you some needles for you know doing your journals and such. They're good for that. Um, I'm, I'm not shipping to Canada anymore. I only do it for a couple of people because the shipping has just gotten to be too much. And I've had people turn around and then when they find out what the shipping is, they, you know, will say, oh, I don't want my things. And I, so I'm not doing any more shipping to, to Canada aside from two people that have been shopping with me forever and they're used to the shipping prices and they know what to expect because it's just, it's a lot, it, you know, it can be a lot. So Sorry about that, but I'm not doing any more international shipping at all. Yeah, people use them for plastic canvas or for all kinds of things, but I we mostly use them for, uh, what do you call it, for journals. That's what I use them for. They also call them uh, something else too, doll needles or something, or I don't remember. What's your first name, Rinka? Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yours is shipped out, but don't forget it's media mail, and media mail takes like a week to ten days. 
because it's slower and it's it's less money but it's slower because your stuff was books you know so give it a few more days it takes a lot longer with media mail unfortunately it's a pain in the ass but hey it's cheaper my mind drew a blank on what your first name was <laughs> i was like uh blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like what is it yeah it's the only downfall to media mail is it takes a while does anybody want any needles or are we done Yeah, that too. Eight people? Is that what I got? Let me see. Did I miss anybody, Janie? I got Teresa P., Mary Jane, Rebecca, Stacy, Christine, and Jeannie. Is there, is there anybody else that I missed? Jeannie, Christina, Stacy, Mary Jane, Rebecca, Teresa, Tina. Did I not get you, Tina? On the needles, or is that something else? Oh, no, that's it. I didn't get you then. And Karen. Wait. So, so, oh, so I missed some people. Tina and Karen. I missed you. Anybody else? Yep, dollar fifty. Did you want any more? Yeah. I'll put you down for another one. Yeah, if you're new here and you've never bought at the auction, you have to pay for your first item right away via PayPal. And then um, you could pay for the rest of your items if you get anything else at the end of the night. But yeah, it, you have to be paid at the end of the night to be in the uh, to be in the giveaway as well. You hope I say no, Debbie? No, I didn't put the coasters in your box. No. I'm not finished with them. I had to stop coastering <laughs> for a little while because my table got piled with things and now I have company coming. So I had to stop everything for the time being. And I have to resume that later this week. 
but no, I did not put them in your box. Okay, next up I have, I have some, these are good for junk journals or anything you want to make, really. You can coffee dye them. I have packs of four random maps. So these are maps, um, and you have like this kind where it's just like a big, you know, map and it's got some advertisements on it. You can use them for your junk journaling. You can cut pieces of the map off, pieces of the different pieces off and use them for different things. Die cut it, um, you know, use them for ATCs, whatever, just to have interesting stuff, you know, covering it, maps and whatnot. But there's four, I suck at folding up a map. But there's four of them. Um, they're not all the same, but you'll just get four random pieces or, you know, with maps on them. Maps and ads and stuff. Um, you know, maps on that side, maps on this side. And I'm just doing four for a dollar, so it's just a dollar. And you get, you'll get four similar, you know, like this. Let's see, like, here's another one with more. So I have, I think, one, two... Three, four. Oh, hold on, my back. Ooh, my back is hurting from yesterday. Let me move that out of the way so I can count properly because right now I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven bundles of maps, and you get, like I said, you get four maps in a bundle. So if you want one, just say go when Janie says go wait till Janie says go and say me and you can have a bundle for a dollar I'll do one pack for everybody, and then if there's an extra one, I'll go back around to anybody that wanted a second one. So I got Crystal, Teresa, Mary Jane, Stacy, anyone else? I have seven of them. And you want two crystals, so I'll put you down for two. Two, three, four, five. So I have two left, two sets left if anybody wants them. Up, I have card bundles and every pack has the same amount of cards some of them have the exact same cards because the first few up to this point here are the same and I have five of these bundles um, so you get a couple you get one of these which is a cute little glittery thank you card with the envelope you get one of these, which is, it says Merci, and it has a gold Eiffel Tower and an envelope. And then you get the envelopes and the cards for this one, which has a dove on it. And it's it's like a uh, the family of so-and-so thanks you for your kind expression of sympathy. Well, obviously, you can cover the inside and do whatever you want with the card. You can decorate it further, but there's the envelopes for it as well. You get two of these, which are thank you cards. Uh-oh. Well, it's supposed to be two. <laughs> that was stuck together. Two thank you cards with envelopes. And then you get these, which are just the cards. And they're these ones with pretty flowers on them. Teresa wants one more bundle of maps. Okay, I'll put it down. One second. And then you get um, one of these, which says... Um, I don't know what that says, but branched something. I can't read it. Um, has a shell on it. And then you get 
one of these. Now these are, there's, there's a couple of variations in these cards, like I think one or two. So I think there was like one that has like a different one, but it's the same card thing. Um, anyways, these are little, little note cards or whatever, and the envelopes are cute. And then the rest of them, they're all different. Let me put you down for your map, your other map thing. So you'll get a certain amount that have the envelopes with them. Um, oh, and you also get, everybody gets these uh, three or I think four of these paper, like note card, they're like card stock and they've got an embossed and fold, uh, foiled hearts on the top of it. Um, so that's also in every pack. So then the rest of it's not, they're different in every pack, but you get the same amount. So you get the same amount that are actual cards with envelopes. And so in here there's, you know, one, two, three cards with envelopes. The rest of them are cards. And, and what I like to do with these is I use them in journals. Um, I, you can make journal cards out of them because you can cut, you can leave the, the thing on there or, you know, and obviously you can cut it and then put another piece of cardstock on the back because some of these are used, obviously. Um, so, or you can use them to cut out the different things. Like if you fussy cut it out the flowers, you know, from this card and you, you can make your own cards, you know what I mean? And do your own things with them. Or you can just cover up what it says here and like keep some of the sayings or whatever. Sometimes like inside this one, it has like another piece of paper, take your heat gun to it and that'll come right off. And then you have this cute little piece of paper, stuff like that. You can use them and, and cut them up for different things. There's all different occasions in here. Most of these are just card fronts. Some of them are like kind of the whole card or part of the whole card. Um, but some of them are just card fronts, but you know, you can cut things out of them, do stuff with them. That's what I do with them. Here's like an inside piece. Um, like that has front and you can like cut these out and use them for things or glitter them and, you know, do all kinds of stuff with them. That's what I do with them. Anyway, this one has like actual wood, little wood veneer pieces on it. This one's a whole card. And so some of them are whole cards. Some of them are just the covers. I think that's a whole card. I think that might be glued together. Somebody must have glued it. That one's just, but you, you get the drift. This one has like a little pop up in it. So you can like cover it up with something and then you just use the, you know, you know what I mean? There's this one. This one's a little top of a card. And then there's a few Christmas ones in there, but not a lot. There's like three or four Christmas ones in the back. Most of them are all different occasions. But they're nice to use for journaling or to cut up and use for different things. So like I said, all of them have the exact same amount and then all of these things are the same in each one. I have five of them. I was gonna do two dollars per, per stack of them. I have five of them. So whenever Janie's ready to just say go and just, or say me after she says go and then you can have a bundle for two bucks. You can use them to make journals with or to just decorate your journals with. So I have um, Crystal, Rebecca, Mary Jane, Teresa, uh, Carmen, and that's it. And then I'm sold out. these put in here real quick.
Hi, Carmen, by the way. She got one. Carmen got one, right? Because there was Crystal, Rebecca, Mary Jane, Teresa, and Carmen. I had five of them. the bag. Okay. Bye, Gail. So I think the only thing I have left is, I only have two of these, but I have two brand new things of twine. Um, I was going to do two bucks a piece on them. There's a lot of twine in here. There's a hundred yards. So two bucks a piece on these. Um, so whenever Janie says go, I only have two though. So Karen and Stacy. for sale right I'm just double checking because <laughs> I've done that before and then was like oh dang it I forgot something <laughs> okay yeah that's it that's it the rest of the stuff will be auction what happened Carmen Who is? Uh-oh. Oh, your brother? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Carmen. I hope he's going to be okay, Carmen. No, the twine was $2. Q 
keep me posted on how he's doing. Do you, do I know if you can dye it? I'm sure you could. I mean, I'm sure it would accept color. You'd have to dye it a dark color though because it's already kind of dark. Oh, you, you're saying, oh, did I know that you can? Oh, I assumed, but I never tried it. What have you been up to, Bima? up for auction I have hi enchanted dreams hi, hi Zoe well you were here earlier weren't you Zoe I don't know if I said hi to you or not, though. So, hello. <laughs> if you don't know the rules to the auction, Janie just put up the rules um, for the auction. She put up a link for it. Make sure you read everything in the rules, please, before you bid on anything. Bidding increments are $1 increments, so if you if, if it, the starting bid on something is like $5, you would start bidding from $5, and then you'd go in dollar increments to raise the bid. Um, Bidding goes for two minutes and then Janie runs the timer so she'll give a 30 second warning and then she'll say stop. She'll say go at the beginning obviously and then she'll say stop when the bidding is over. And I take the, you know, the last highest bid um, before the stop. If two people bid the same price, I go with the first person that bid that price and Sometimes it happens where somebody bids and it, you know, several people are bidding and then she'll say stop and somebody will go, somebody's bid will come up after the stop, but on their screen it's showing that it's before the stop. I go by what's on my screen, so if my screen shows that it's after the stop, then I have to, you know, go with the person that had it, you know, before the stop. So if there's ever a discrepancy, I'll show my screen because I'm able to show the chat on the screen. Issue, I can show it, but I go by what's on my screen because it's the easiest way to, you know, fix any discrepancies in that way. Now, if you want to bid, you definitely have to read the rules because in order to bid, you have to follow the rules and um, send me an email with information that I asked for and I because if, if you don't read the rules and you're not going to know how it works and how we do payments and all that stuff so um definitely make sure you read the rules but if you want to know just how it kind of works make sure you read the rules first and then also watch the auction for a little bit and you'll catch on to how it works but make sure you read everything in the rules does anybody have any questions Make sure you put your chat on, t on, on live chat as well. So at the top of your chat screen, whether you're on a phone or you're on a computer, it should say either live chat or top chat. Um, if, you, if it says top chat, just touch it and you'll have a choice to choose live chat. Hit live chat because then that makes sure that it shows every single chat, everybody that's in the chat that you know does bid or chat. Um, so make sure that you 
choose live chat. I got you, Miss Lori, and I got Zoe. I got your guys' emails, so you're good. Yeah, shipping is extra. You'll That's all in the rules. Shipping is extra, and also anything you buy tonight, you pay for tonight, and then shipping, I'll send you a separate, you'll get a separate email or message about the shipping to pay that separately once I get everything calculated up. All right, so first off, I have this group of stuff that I've had for a while, and I was going to keep it, but then I decided against it. This is good for anybody who likes to do collaging. It's all vintage cutouts of, of mostly cars and stuff. So, And these are all from vintage magazines, clearly. <laughs> and um, so if you are, you know, are interested in cars or you know somebody who is, uh, there's some big ones in here. There's some sheets with various cars um but there's a whole stack of them here and a random piece of cardstock um different cars somebody was a car enthusiast and was cutting out all kinds of and there's like some on both sides 1967 like some of these magazines are old Yes, I have done coffee dyeing on blank note cards. I've done them on blank note cards. I've done them on note cards like that aren't blank. They have something on them, but I just coffee dye it anyway. I haven't done it in a long time, but in a while. I did it a couple batches ago, probably like a year ago. I did some cards and envelopes. So there is just bunches and bunches of cars. So if you or somebody you know likes cars, you can make them a cool like collage type of thing for their man cave, or you can just make a cool, use them for like, you know, like a, a journal or any kind of collage work that you do. These would be great for that. There's little ones, big ones, all different sizes, all different cars. So, fun, fun. Oh, double sided. bunches. There's literally like hundreds and hundreds probably of cars on every one of these papers. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you get the drift. There's just tons and tons. Some are completely fussy cutted. Others are still, you know, on their background, but bunches and bunches. So, oh, we, 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 that newspaper, nobody's newspaper. <laughs> I think that was just in there because there, there was a couple newspapers lining the top and bottom, but the whole envelope that they were in kind of ripped. So I took the stuff that was lining it out and just left the cars. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we'll start this at five bucks because I think that's pretty good for all of this. Somebody definitely had a, uh, an eye for cars, but I figured, you know, somebody who likes to do collage work might enjoy, you know, having this stack of, you know, cool vintage cars for that type, type of thing. Yeah, I don't know who did all this cutting. <laughs> So we'll start it at five bucks whenever Janie's ready.
really stack them up very well. Can't really stack it up really well. It'd be cool to make like a collage journal with just a bunch of cars in it. That'd be kind of interesting. But it might be interesting if you know somebody who has like an obsession with vintage cars or something to put together a cool kind of collage thing or something or I don't know. There's Use your imagination on what you do with them. <laughs> I originally was going to hold on to them myself, but I had them for a while, and then I just was like, well, <laughs> I probably, I just, I really just wanted to go through it and see if there was anything I wanted out of here, but I realized that, you know, it, it, it might as well go to somebody in like a whole set, because I didn't know what I was going to do with it exactly, as I'm not really like into cars that much or anything, so it didn't really... It didn't make any sense to hold on to it because I probably would never use it for very much. Karen, you got it with $10. Congrats. But I have a big brown envelope. I'll be putting these in when I ship them. So this way they won't just be sitting in a bag, you know. I'll put them in a big envelope. Okay, next up I have was reorganizing my craft room and I had these I cleaned out these two bins they're um they've got little tops on them they've got little wells back here you could put like pens or pencils in and stuff and then they've, this, they've got two drawers and both of them are like exactly the same this one's just got a couple stickers on it it's got a, oh it's got a sticker of Tigger too <laughs> you can have on both sides and then it's got labels on it but these come off real easy like that so um but they're exactly the same, really, other than that, because they both have the same thing. They're, I mean, they're slightly different. I mean, this one's a little bit deeper going back than this one, but they're, like, basically the same concept. They both have two drawers in them. I just don't use them anymore. So, I'll start them off at two bucks for the two of them. Yeah, I kind of rearranged things and I didn't need them anymore. And I thought somebody will want them for their little things that they put, you know, in their craft stuff. One of the little cars got loose. <laughs> put it in its bag. Where'd it go? It was trying to escape. Hmm. Let me make sure I have that stuff situated. I have some stuff I hadn't finished making sure I go through, so I'm gonna start throwing that stuff in this bag while you guys are bidding on that because I didn't get a chance to finish this bag of stuff. So, I'm going to toss some of this beads and stuff in this thing.
because I got beads and then I went through one bag of them but then realized there was another bag sitting underneath the kitchen table it got I, I must have pushed it either me or Chris when he was helping me bring stuff in must have pushed it and it went under went like under the table a little bit and I didn't see it until just a little while ago and I was like dang it <laughs> let me get that situated I just want to make sure that all it is in here is beads because I have a tendency to throw stuff in here when I'm at the creative reuse and I'll just start throwing any old thing in here and it might be something that I wanted to keep and didn't pay attention. So I might as well just double check before I throw it in everything in there. Make sure that it's what I wanted to do. All right, that bag is pretty good. So I'll put that aside. I'll do the next one. All right, we got Jeannie. You got them for eight bucks. Alrighty. What sticker was hilarious? The one on the top or the one that said the little flying guy, whatever it was? I don't know what that was. Um, okay, so I have this brand new expanding. It has like the months on it, so it has like 12 pockets and it's a you know accordion file and it has like the months on it you can use that for something and then I have what I think is photo paper in here I can open it and see I didn't I didn't open it because I was assuming it was probably photo paper but I'll check and make sure oh is it oh no it's not it's just white paper. Okay, I thought it was photo paper because it was in a section with other photo paper. So, well, it's just some white paper. <laughs> and then we've got these, which I grabbed these by accident. They're actually, they're the the reef, the ma they call them magnetic, but they're really sticky, the sticky stuff under the plastic. But I figured since they're hard, if you just take the plastic off, you could paint or put them on your jelly plate. And, you know, it's not going to be sticky once you put paint on it. It's probably not sticky now because they're old. So, but if you put paint on them, you can use them as paint sheets because they're pretty, you know, they're fairly thick. So you can use them for painting on or whatever. Then there is a pad with some sketch paper in here. And then there is some large puzzle pieces. There is some inserts, the plastic inserts. You can use these to die cut on your, um, you know, if you have a die cut machine or just your either the electric one or a regular one you could die cut things and make stencils with them or whatever so there's that um and they have like a poly envelope a clear envelope or something with security tabs so i guess there was like a clear envelope in there too i don't know i didn't open it and then there's this one which is a these have little tabs i guess i'm not really sure how that works I guess you can put something in there. I don't know how that works. Or maybe they're just labels. I don't really know. Um, and then it's got, um, it's got a strap thing. Then it's got like a little tabbed areas, which I don't really know how these work. So mm. project sorter. Oh, okay. Maybe you just put your projects in them. Then there is another expandable you know you could use these for your graphics and stuff like i that's what i use them for i have bunches of them and then there's a pair of scissors <laughs> just a random pair of scissors so you can fussy cut and sort your stuff that you're cutting up and into all these little things and just stuff to work on so we'll start this at two dollars whenever Janie's ready
me grab a bag from somewhere. I need a bag. sorting that stuff all into that bag. Karen, you got it for 15. Please grab this handful of crap out of here. And then we can be done with this bag. Okay. There's a hole in my bag. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza. A hole. different fabric paints these are actually these were all mine um, I was cleaning out my drawers in my little organization spree that I went on and I realized I don't use them so I might as well get rid of them um, there's some tulip fabric markers and then I'm just gonna do this because <laughs> there's a, like there's a few fabric markers like these and then there's um, oh that's supposed to go in the other bag it's a stamp but anyway, there's a couple. There's two different sets of paints. There's these ones here. They're called craft for all, crafts for all, and these are fabric paints. And these are all like pretty much brand new. And then there's these ones which are Polymark. Um, you know, some of them are used slightly. Like this one's got probably like that much left in it. Um, but most mostly they're all you know full because I didn't really use them. So, and there's just every color under the sun. 
in here. But there's two whole sets and then the markers. So we'll start this at five bucks for all these uh, fabric paints. And I'm going to run to the potty real quick while you guys are bidding. Okay. Alrighty. Looks like Ashley. You got it, Ashley. For seven dollars. What's your last name again, Ashley? I don't know why I can't remember your last name. I know you just <laughs> were at my auction not long ago, but brain drew a blank. No, your 15 was after the stop. Right after the stop. Sorry. Coggins. Okay, I was going to say Cogs. I was sitting here going Cogs, Cogs, and you said Coggins. That's it. Just make sure I have it written down properly. Thanks. Cool. Okay. I've got some jewelry junk, beads, and whatnot. Um, I've got, these are like those little plastic melty beads. And then there are some various pretty beads, greens, purples, some seed beads some gold beads, 
some blue beads, a whole bag of carved wood beads. This is a little soap thing. Um, it says, he shall cover you with his feathers, blah, blah, blah. It's something to do with soap, but it's a little bird. It's a soap bird. I don't know. And here's a big bag of glass beads of all different colors and shapes and sizes and things. Here is some really cute rhinestone cross pendants. Some silver beads, some more seed beads. There's like a variety of beads and such in here. Red beads, there's some sequins. Gold beads, there's these wood pieces here, which is like, like a couple, I guess, with a heart in the middle. And they're like little, I don't know what they're for, but. And there's some purple beads, some teal beads. Oh, there's these little high heel shoes. I'm gonna make ruby slippers out of, I, I kept a pair for myself, but there's a bunch in here. There's like four pairs. I'm gonna make little ruby slipper earrings out of mine, the one that I kept. So you can do that with yours, paint them and then put sparkles all over them, paint them red. There's a little pouch here, and I guess it has sequins in it because the sequins are leaking out. <laughs> it's like a little velvet pouch full of sequins, but they were leaking out. And here's some cute little, um, like, lavender and silver charms. Oh, that's right. My autofocus is off. Anyway, they're cute little charms. Some yellow beads. Here is some random beads in here. Some orange tube beads. Some silver little connector. Whoa. Don't spill out, dummy. Oh, a couple of them spilled out. Hey, get back in there. Well, they're all going in the same bag. Seed beads. Here's a little ring. Here's a, a necklace. Some more beads. Some more beads. Some red tube beads. Some gold beads. I think these are buttons or something. Yeah. These are like little purple and black beads, some black beads, some little flower beads, some white beads, gold beads, these little crystally beads, some little clear crystally beads, some really pretty blue beads. These are little pin backs. This is just an empty little heart box. A bracelet, seed beads, and a bracelet that you could take the rest of those things off and then put other things on there because some of them fell off the little rocks or whatever, the stones, so you can actually reuse it, put stuff on there. A chain, a broken piece with some wood beads on it, some gold tube beads. These are actually fishing lure um, starters, like to make your own fishing lure, so if you have a fisherman in the family. They have the weights on them and the hooks, and they have a little spot where you can hook, like, the little feather things or whatever. So if you know somebody that likes to make their own lures or does a lot of fishing. I first, at first, I thought they were earrings, so I pulled them out, and I realized those aren't earrings. Those are fishing lures. <laughs> they have hooks on them. Some silver tube beads, red beads. This is, like, an old, um, not that. That's, a, like, an old bracelet. This is, like, a vintage earring. It's a, a clip-on, but it's, like, velvety, and it's animal print. You can make like a necklace or something out of that. Here are some buttons that are like little flowers. And then here are some little gold bead thingies in there. So we'll start this off at $4. Whenever Janie says go, you guys can bid.
torture earrings? Yeah. <laughs> uh. That is exactly right. Torture. They would hurt if you tried to put them in your ears. That's why I made sure to let you know that they are fishing lures. They're not earrings. <laughs> Teresa, you got it for 15. Doki. where you were a few seconds ago. I was like, I wonder where Laura is. <laughs> this one is got some really pretty colors in it. Nice and soft. Most, I think all the pages are like real soft, velvety kind of. Velvety fabrics. Soft and nice and soft. It's nice to rub my hands on it. It feels so nice. So nice and soft. Soft. And soft. Stick together. A little, a little bit rougher on the back sticks to the velvety. It's like a pink color. Then we got some green. Then we got this really pretty teal back here. And that's really pretty teal too. And that's like a lighter kind of teal, almost mint. And then there's darker color. And here we go. So we'll start this at three bucks. Three bucks. Yeah, you can use an iron. Just use an iron and some, um, what do you call it, uh, parchment. Put it in, put some parchment over it, take an iron, and then, and then it'll peel off. It's just, you know, it's just got an adhesive on it, so it'll peel off.
After this, we'll do a giveaway. Stacy, you got it, Stacy. some fabric that is you know like quilting fabric some of them most of it's already cut in the squares this is like a teal pattern squares or other shapes teal colors. Like a little bit of a sheer fabric. And then here is another one. Like a lot of remnant pieces and stuff you can make like a, one of those crazy quilts with. Or use it for other crafting. Some vegetables. Eat your veggies. And here's like some paisley green piece and just a plain blue. It's got some threads all over it. <laughs> oh, is that it? Oh, I thought it unfolded again. <laughs> Yellow. Oh, another piece of that paisley. Here is a piece of like faux leather, like a vinyl -y piece. A bunch in this bag. Then we've got some this like purple and blue. It's just double what you see here. It's folded in half again, so it's twice the size of that. And let's see. 
And there is this piece here, which is some sort of weird little big triangle piece of blue, dark blue, like navy blue and polka, white polka dots. toothy kind of pattern on there and then there's a bunch of squares I guess these are all go together a bunch of already cut squares some plaids some stars some more of that some more hounds tooth bunch of bunch of them there and then we've got some purple fabric I'm not going to undo the whole thing just a bunch of little bits of purple fabric there and then there's this it's folded in half so like a floral print on a black background another piece that fell here's some more squares like the other one different colors somebody I guess was making a crazy quilt all different patterns and colors in here that one's cool look at that Hotel California isn't that cool you never know what you're gonna find more squares in here and then just random fabrics like a reddish pinkish color and there is this floral it's like a navy blue with these little flowers on it and there's a bunch of that here like a big strip of it make lots of squares with there's like three long strips in here or one either that or one really long strip I just dropped all my papers. Crap. Right here. Some checkered. Another long strips. Another strip in there. Another strip of checkered blue and cream colored. And then here's some remnants of blue and with white flowers. Then there's this one with some parrots on it. That one's really cute. I want the little parrots on it. Cute! And it's double that size because there's another whole triangle of it there. And then there's some um, white with red polka dots. A couple triangles of that in there. Like three of them. And then there's some more of some golf fabric. There's a big piece of like organza, whoops, and that fell on the floor, and some white organza type stuff, a piece of red with threads on it, <laughs> a small piece of blue, some tan, a wad of tan, get back here now, here is some um, purple and pink and blue kind of fabric. piece of cream colored like satin a yellow piece some lace in here some of this kind of rust color terracotta color fabric there's a bunch of that in there some of this like blue denim -y looking but it's not as thick as denim and then blue striped more blue striped there's like three pieces there some of this pretty flowery one some blue and white there's two pieces folded well one piece but it's folded in half and then there's this one which is like a maroon and white it's, it's a big long strip you get the drift <laughs> and there's this one that has, looks like it has some planets and stuff on it looks like these used to be like vintage pajamas I can tell by the material but it's cute. Blue with pink flowers, green and white, another piece of green, and then whatever this is. It's folded in half, but anyway. Blue, and then another blue and white. So a bunch for making crazy quilts or what have you. We'll start it at $4 for the bunch whenever Janie's ready.
Okay. Okay. Uh, Karen, you got 16 before the stop. Congrats, Karen. Alrighty, I've got another fabric sample book. This one has um, mostly orange colors in it. groovy patterns in it and some nice threads <laughs> it's a very cheery fabric sample book Velvety smooth. Ooh, that's soft too. Soft. Ooh, soft. It's got like a metallic going through it. Ooh, that's soft gray with little tiny orange dots in there. Good night, Karen. This one's like a, a vinyl. Soft. A little fuzzy. Get off. Get off, fuzzy. You stuck in there. Why are you stuck? Don't be stuck get it off it's a fuzzy stuck on there a stuck fuzzy so there's another one like that that one has some orange with purple in it and that one's like got orange and like pink all right we'll start this at three bucks now that I'm covered in little fuzzies and so is my desk Ooh, they're all the way back here, too. That probably was from that fabric, too. Fabric always leaves me with fuzzies. Fabric fuzzies. And I just cleaned off my whole desk. I don't want little fuzzies everywhere. Three bucks is the starting bid. Three bucks, three bucks. Oh, I forgot to do a giveaway, dang it. That's all your fault. Oh, 
I'll put it on the table so that I can't forget. I've got these cute little, that's like a pink, you can't tell that it's pink because it's washed out, but it's pink pig, a little glitter thing. These will be for the giveaway. A little chalkboard thingy pineapple clip and a little crown clip. So those will be for the giveaway. Let me grab a bag for those two. Actually, I'll do two giveaways in a row because I screwed up. <laughs> this one I will do a map for the other one and a couple of these little beads. Tina, you won the book for seven. It won't fit in there, will it? Even if it sticks out, I don't care. I just it'll keep it together. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna do two giveaways. First one, we'll do the clips. And that is for Ashley. And then the next one is for the map and the clips. And that is for Karen. Another bag of jewelry junk. You thought I only had one bag, didn't you? Whoa. <laughs> if I can wrangle my ass to sit in the chair right. This one is a little bracelet kit. Um, it's got the pattern. It's got the little doodads. It's got the, hey, it's got the thready stuff. It's got the beads. And it shows you how to do that to make you a little cute little bracelet. This is a pair of earrings. This is a stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. I don't know what a stretchy is, but a, a stretchy bracelet that you could take it apart and use the beads or you just wear it as a bracelet because it's pretty. Here is a little butterfly hair clippy thing. Here is some, um, this was part of um, a, a what looks like a bracelet or something, but there's you can take the beads off of it and use them. Here is some googly eyes. <laughs> googly eyes. Here is some like wedding dress sequins, which are always so pretty. They're iridescent, but it doesn't pick up on camera. They're really colorful. They have that aurora borealis going on because they're super colorful. Here is a rosary. 
Here is some pink ribbon. <laughs> That's on like a wire. I don't know why. Here is what was an earring of some sort. Pearl beads. This was a necklace. I think it's broken, but probably could be fixed pretty easily. Or just use the beads from it. Here's a whole bunch of red beads. And even like these big, really pretty big ones in there. There are these beads. And see, um, little silver beads. Here is one of those stretchy rings. Remember these? <laughs> I had a couple of these years and years ago. You put it on and it's like, oh, it's so pretty. Little teal iridescent seed beads. Some E's, wooden E's. Three or four wooden E's in there. Some little flower, uh, little like flower thingies. A couple of bells. Some uh, blue and pink beads. There's a pair of earrings in here. There is an A earring. There is some purple and black beads. There is a little angel charm. There is what was a, a, a memory wire bracelet, which I think is separate from that other, th oh no, maybe not. I can't tell, is it separate? Oh yeah, it's just on there. I don't know what the wire is on there for, but yeah, so. I don't know, I'm going to throw that out, it's just a piece of wire. The main focus is this, obviously, because it's cute. Not a ratty piece of wire. This is a little necklace with a pearl on it. And there is some wood beads, some earring wires. Here is some safety pins that look like the flag that somebody made. Here is some of these little weird wood beady things. They probably were for like some sort of weird bracelet. Here's some orange little beads that have like flowers on the ends. I don't know if they're beads or just clay pieces. Don't know. Not sure. This was an earring with little beads on it. Here is a glass like starfish. It is chipped on one end. But you can't really tell, but it is chipped on one end right there. It's hard to see though. Here is a little keychain. Remember these like little key people would make keychains out of these? I had one too years and years ago. Here is some somebody tried to make an earring out of a bandana and a piece of wire or something. <laughs> I don't know. Some beads. Some really pretty um, teal and green beads. Here's another earring. Here is a little penguins. A piece of leather strip here. Some pink beads. A whole bag of multicolored seed beads. A big bag of black beads. These are, this is like a little tiny metal, uh, metal plastic box and it has like two sides to it. I guess you could put little beads in it. Here's some seed beads, some pearls, some more seed beads. These are a bunch of different crosses in here, like different silver crosses. And then here's another couple of crosses that are like pendants. Here's another earring. You can use the charm. It's like a little tree. Here is some purple beads and stuff. Here is some black beads, a green bead, some blue beads, some more black beads. There is this bracelet, which is really cute. It's magnetic. It's missing one of the strands, but you could probably wear it anyway because it doesn't matter when you're wearing it. It does need somebody with a, either a big wrist or a normal wrist because my wrist is extraordinarily small. So. But if you have a bigger wrist, it probably would fit pretty well. Or you can just take all the beads off of it. This is like some little pendant that somebody made with some like glossy accents on a thing. Um, here's a little British bottle cap somebody did something with as well. 
Here is a necklace, a broken clasp on this necklace, so you can just replace the clasp or take all the beads off of it. Some more seed beads, some little neon beads. Here's another earring attempt, probably by the same person that tried to make this one. <laughs> it's not the greatest, but whatever. Here's a big bead thing. Another bottle cap that doesn't have anything in it. Here is, I thought that would be pretty if they made it into like a necklace or something. Another cross, a little gold cross, a little earring. Here is some random beads in here. Another, oh, here's another one. What's that other one? Oh, maybe it was earrings or something. Oh, is this the same one? No, it's a different one. I don't know where the other one went, but this is a different one. And then there's like an earring with these really pretty pink beads on there. And then there was this little bracelet with these little couple little charms on it. And then there was the other earring that goes to that tree one. So anyway, we'll start this off at $4. Whenever Jamie's ready. I'm going to run to the potty really quick. Hi, Emily and Lizzie and Laura. I'll be right back. Alrighty. to the bag. Carmen, you got it at 18. Congrats, Carmen. Make sure if you're new here to please go read the rules and follow the instructions in order to bid. I'd appreciate it.
did I? No, I didn't, Karen. What was your message? Um, I'm not doing graphics right now, um, so I can do some, I, I don't, so if I can donate those for you and just give you the map out of it. If you want the clips, I can give you the map out of it, um, but I'm, I don't have graphics uh, to print at this moment because I lost all my graphics. Um, they might, some of them might be on my hard drive, but I don't have time to do all that right now, so it'll be too, you know, I don't even know if I have any, so... I'll just give you this for now because that's all I have at this moment. Um, and if I find something else, I'll throw it in there. But I'll put these in the thing for Care Heart, though. I'll, do I'll donate the map too. Okay. Okay. I have some art supplies. I have um, woodless colored pencils. I have some super bright colored pencils. There's like neon colors and stuff in there. I have these neon colored um, gel pens. I have some Crayola markers. I think there's a few missing obviously in there, but then I have some ballpoint pens in all different colors. I have these colored pencils in here. There's 24 in that pack. I have this pack of markers. And then I have this pack of double-sided super fine, fine and super fine tip markers. And I'll start this off at $2 for everything. something to put in for you Karen that you would probably like but yeah ever since my hard drive died I <laughs> there's a lot of, I lost a lot of graphics so um and I don't know what's on my external hard drive as far as graphics go until I get a chance to go through that so, unfortunately, I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, there was these beads in that bead thing, but they were, they rolled off the thing. So I'm going to put them in Carmen's blank bag. They rolled away. Sneaky bastard. Sneaky sneakies. I 
like I have these colors. These are the really light colors. Hmm. Tropical Violet. I have like every Crayola marker color, at least I think I thought I did, that they make. I have like a whole bag of Crayola markers. What I like to do with Crayola markers is I like to color stamps with them. They make real pretty colored stamps. See, you can take like three different colors and color some stamp, color your stamps. I used to do this years ago when I didn't have stamp pads. I would do this and I would color the stamp and it would stay fairly wet long enough for me to stamp it. I just did the smile, I didn't do the rest of it. And then you can make like multicolored things, which is kind of fun. Yeah, back in the day I had some stamps, but I had no, no stamp pads, or I had like one black stamp pad or something. And <laughs> so I broke out my Crayolas one day and I was like, oh, I was like, that's a fun way to do that. <laughs> Carmen, you got it for 18. got another fabric sample book. This one has greens in it, like light greens mostly. This is green, but it's not showing up. It looks tan on the camera, but it's actually green. It's like a sage green. It's, it's light, but it's definitely more green than that camera showing it. And then it's more like that green, but for some reason the camera is not picking it up as green as that. And that's greens. Wow, that really looks different on camera. That's it. Wow, that looks so different. It's a bright green. I don't understand why it's coming up so dark. It's not. And these are like a sea foam green in here. And then that one's like just like a standard grass green kind of color. Hmm. This is green too and it looks tan. Wow. That's like a, a, you know, like a pale green, but it looks weird on camera. I don't know why. This is green around the outside with like a gray on the inside, but it's hard again to tell. It's so weird how it doesn't come up the color it's supposed to be. Let's see if I do that. No, now it looks tanner. <laughs> it's green, it's like bright green, weird. That's really pale, pale green, so that one's gonna be hard to see. This one looks completely different on camera. This is like green and it looks almost blue. It's pretty. Hmm, weird. Hmm. These are all like different greens and greens with a little white. And again, it's coming up like tan. You can kind of see it's green when I do that, sort of, but it still doesn't look anywhere near the way it's supposed to. Another bright green page that looks tan. Hmm. I don't get it, weird. Anywhere you see what looks like tan, it's bright green. <laughs> This one you can kind of see it's green, sort of. That again is not yellow, that's green. <laughs> that's tan with green spots. Anywhere you see those little darker spots, it's actually green. It's green and like teal. It's a really light green, maybe because they're like paler colors. It's like a teal color and green, teal and green. It's not showing how pretty the colors are. They're really pretty actually. They're very like sea foamy and you know, like pale lime green and, and sage. They're actually really pretty colors. Oh well, it ain't gonna show up very well. That's green too and it looks tan. 
What you doing to me, camera? That one's pretty too. It's green. It doesn't show it though. That one's greenies. Different greens. That one's got sparkle in it too. It's not showing up either. Can you see all the sparkle in it? There's lots of sparkle. Not showing up all the sparkle, but it's there. And then we've got more green that looks more yellow than green. This is like a, a light blue with green. That's green, not tan. That's light blue and green. And that's greens, different greens inside of the little threads. And then this side, more green stripes, more green, it looks tan, green and tan. And that's green, but looks tan. And that's green that looks tan. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll start this at three dollars. Whenever you're ready, Janie. You're gonna just have to take my word for it. Where'd my papers go? Did I lose them? No, they're there. Oh, how many times am I gonna drop these papers, really? Thousand. All right. I have a little clipboard over here, but I don't know what happened to it. I keep losing it. called lettuce and lettuce is green but it's not really lettuce green it's kind of just like different than lettuce but it's not as bright as lettuce Hi, JD. You were mowing the yard? Fun. Stacy, you got it for six, Stacy. Oh, I already did that. <laughs> I was gonna tape it again. And I'm like, I already taped it. Dang. another bunch of fabric bits for like quilting um, some of it's like a vintage fabric this is definitely a vintage fabric um, this is like a brown with flowers on it green with little flower little heart flowers on it this is a vintage too this blue 
stripe with pink hearts in it. It's like a peach. And this is a little white with little orange and red flowers. And this is maroon with green leaves and stuff. That's and white with some red flowers. Brown with some little paisley, little blue paisleys on it. Some lavender with teal and white flowers. Here is, and they're held together with like a safety pin, but it's a whole bunch of squares, you know? Like a whole bunch of squares. There's little ones and big ones, pink with black and white polka dots. It's like a linen fabric. Here is white with these little triangle things on it. Here is a navy blue. It's two pieces that look like a heart, kind of. There's blue with white little tiny flowers. There's some yellow flowers. There's some more of this red, white with the red balloon. Like they're like little heart balloon thingies. There's another piece of that. Um, navy blue with pink flowers. Yellow flowers on that one. Plain yellow pieces here. This is like a cream color with a pink like a dark pink, maroonish kind of flowers. Here is another safety pin holding a buttload of pink with white polka dot fabrics. Here is a little set of these little like silk or satin bits on a safety pin, different colors. Here is some squares, some squares of fabric. Actually, these are like rectangles. There's like five of them here, four or five pieces on that one. And like three, nope, two folded over. One folded over, never mind, one piece <laughs> folded over. Red fabric. Tigger, can you not walk on everything, please? Quit being a pest, boy. Red with white flowery things. Brown with multicolored little flowers. This is like a maroon with tiny, tiny, tiny little flowers. Black with more multicolored flowers. Red and white pokey dots. Oh, and a little piece of like maroon colored with pokey dots. Here is a strip with teddy bears and letters. Here is a whole safety pin with a bunch of, and these have like these little pieced together little houses on there. And there's several of those. Somebody was starting a quilt. So there's a bunch of that there. And then there's another one with flowers. And then here's some little boy themed matchbox engine company. It's like matchbox fabric. Here is some pink little triangles. A whole bunch of them. Here is a couple pieces of Mickey Mouse fabric. It's like a flannel. Here is a whole bunch of these multicolored, like watercolory looking squares. Here is some sear sucker. I knew it in a thread with some sort of little bunnies on it or something. It's hard to tell. I don't know. I can't tell what that is. And then some blue fabric on the back. Here is some, that's like vintage fabric. This is definitely like a vintage pattern. My stomach is growling. <laughs> Here is some more like seersucker-ish flower fabric. 
and it's got a whole bunch of it. It's all plaids. We got a pale pink with pink and purple flowers on it. We got a, pale, a yellow checkered piece and one with hearts all over it. Another vintage -y kind of fabric. We got this whole thing here. Oh, well this one first has already the startings of a quilt here. Somebody started. Tigger, you're gonna have to wait a minute, bud. And then there's these like corduroy, not corduroy, but like a thick fabric, cottony kind of fabric. It's brown and red and blue. Squares, and then there's these squares, which are all like little kid baseball, vintage animals. Like a big old chunk. A chunk! There's some more of that black fabric with flowers. Another strip with teddy bears, like a leftover piece. More black with pink flowers. Blue piece. This one's cut like a butterfly with a fairy on it. Yellow, blue, There's a bunch of squares here. More squares and such. Whole bunches. What is that? Oh, it's a purple piece. More rectangles or squares. Little squares, a bunch of little squares there. I hear you, bud. And some pink. And another pink and some blue and some balloons. And some more, you get the drift. Well, here. There's more bunches in here. Purple with flowers. Brown with flowers, blue with flowers, red with flowers, pink. This one's cute. It's got a tree or something on it. It's got tree pieces. All right, we'll start this off at four dollars. I'm gonna let Tigger out while you guys are bidding. Oh, I missed one. A couple pieces here. I think that's it. Four dollars. When Janie says go, and I'm going to go let Tigger out. I'll be right back.
Alrighty. Sorry about that. Um, looks like Crystal, you got it for 23. See if I can get it all back in there now. That's getting on the floor. Chigger had to go outside and do his potties. Well, you actually won with 23 because we don't allow overbidding so that you, I've explained it before that overbidding, I'll leave it at 21, but just know that don't overbid you outbid yourself because that you're going to be stuck with that highest price because what that does is if you outbid yourself, that makes nobody else want to bid because maybe somebody wanted to bid 22, you know what I'm saying? And so we don't allow overbidding or outbidding yourself for that reason so i'll put down 21 this time but just don't do that because it makes because we had a bunch of people doing that a lot and it, it causes people to not want to bid do you know what i mean by that no it's fine i, I mean because i know you didn't mean anything by it but we just don't allow that anymore because a lot of people were doing it and it was causing other people to not want to bid because they thought oh well they bid 23 so you know what i mean like oh i'm not going to bid any further you know what i mean so, and I didn't pick up on this for like the longest time until after like a while. And I think somebody had said something to me about it too. Um, anyway, what was I doing? Oh, I did put the tag on there, right? Yes, I did. Oh, I almost forgot about this. All right, I have a journal that was actually made by Teresa Brady that uh, Janie had bought it, and she really loved it. It's really pretty, but she wasn't going to be able to use it, really, so she gave it to me to put in the auction, and it's a really pretty journal on the, it's like, you know, bound with the little thingamabobber but it's got like little pearls on it and it's got this and like a mirrored kind of thingamajiggity. And then it has, it says enjoy life. And it's like raised and it's got a little card thing in here, like a journaling spot. And is that a pocket? Yeah, there's a pocket here. I think this goes under here. You can put this under there. And then there's a heart. Is this a pocket or something? No, it's just on there. It might be a side pocket thing. I don't know. No. I don't know. Sometimes I can't tell. And then there's little cards under here. It's really pretty colorful. Pretty and colorful. A little belly band. This is leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And it has this little pocket with a little thingamabobber. And that just says memories. This is amazing. These little tags. And little, get back in there. And little cards in here too. And then there's a little postcardy looking thing on there. Another belly band. Some cute little cards. Another cute little note cards inside of the envelopes. Another little postcardy looking thing. This one has a, a raised little sticker on there. Some 
some little things on there. Some more little journal spot thingies. Tigger, you're not getting nothing else, buddy. No, sir. I gave you some food, you had water, and you went outside. <laughs> Listen to him, he's pathetic. There's these little white note cards in here. There's a bunch of them. Another little card. You could decorate these pages. Some little fun pages. These are little, little note cards inside of all these little envelopes here. And it still has a lot of things that can be decorated on here too. So it's definitely something you can still work on for sure because you know you could decorate all these cards and you know decorate further however you want. More belly beans, cards. These are actual cards. I like the little cactus. That's cute. Little rhinestone cactus. Oh, that's the back page. It was thick. I thought there was double pages there. But yeah, so that's really cute. Little feather flower on there. Very cute. So I'll start this off at $10. I think it's worth at least that. Whenever Janie's ready. I'll call it the flower journal. Flower journal, I mean. What, buddy? Come here. Oh, you can't through. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll make you a spot. Let's move this out of the way, okay? I know it. We're not getting any more food, I'm telling you right now. You can't have as much food as you want, bud. Little fatty. Nope, you can't. Come on. All right. Oh, maybe you just want to be up here. <gasps> yeah, giving me snuggles. Everybody wants to see your little tail wag. Are you tail wagging? Are you snuggling? <laughs> He's like, I'm, <laughs> I want to climb on you, mama. I know, snuggles. Snuggles are nice. I love snuggles. I love snuggles. Yeah, good snuggles. Oh, thank you. Give kisses on the neck and snuggles. Yeah, are you snuggling? You want to stand up there? Oh, big boy. You can just, thank you. Come back here. Hey, hey, that's not for you. Hey, dude. Hey, would you stop? Come over here. <laughs> He's got his little old man moles. Because he's an old man. Old man, old man, huh? You old man. Um, no, 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 no. Stop drinking paint water, dumbass. Thankfully, there's nothing in there but just the water. Stop. You just drank like a whole bunch. You want more? Want me to get you some more? Goodness gracious. Let me get you more. Come on, let's go over here. I'll get you more. Come on. I'll get you some more. Stacy, you got it, Stacy. My pen, there it is. Okie dokie. I am just gonna 
slip that in there like that, put it down here so it'll stay nice. Um, no, we're not getting back up here, bud. Okay? Yeah, you go boy, but go play, okay? Come on, go lay down. Whoa. <laughs> You're tripping over things, dude. Little dude. Um. Another bag of jewelry crap. <laughs> this is the last one though. This is the last bag of jewelry crap that I have. Remember these beads? Little flower beads. There's more of these things. These little silver doodads. There's some of these funky beads. There is these white stone or shell beads of some sort. There is these blue beads. There is some green seed beads. There is some pink, hot pink sequins. Washers. <laughs> there is this piece here, which I think is like a glass or either glass or clay. I think it's glass. Maybe it's clay. I don't know. So we can make a pendant out of it. These are like green, like lime green iridescent -y kind of little CD kind of beads. Some pearls. Some of these cool little gold beads. There is a bracelet in here. There is some purple beads. There is some seed beads. Some like freshwater pearl looking kind of beads. Black and white beads. More green beads. More of those green, other green beads. Some big fat red beads. Um, a little bracelet with stars on it. These are, um, what do you call it? My turquoise, like turquoise beads. They're real turquoise beads. Here are some little, little tiny like wood bead thingies. Some silver sequins. And here is three stone beads of some sort. Here is a whole bunch of clear beads. Big old pearl beads, black seed beads. There's some more of those little flower beads in there and some other things. Here's some red, looks like red coral or something beads or something, one of those type of things. There's these little beads here. Tigger, hush. There's some more turquoise beads. I believe they might be real, I'm not sure. Maybe not. I can't tell. They're good weights. So they might be glass. I, or not glass, but like ceramic. I'm not sure though on those. I doubt they're real, but I don't know. And then here's some more seed beads. Here's some black beads. Here's some whoops, striped little beads. Here's some silver beads. Here's some, a variety of like orange and yellow beads. Here's some little wood seed bead type of things. Here's some pink and purple beads. Here's some teal-y kind of beads. Here's some little metal beads. Here's some little like those telephone wire, either bracelets or hair things. Here's some little stone beads of some sort. Here's some bracelets. Here's some big pink beads. Some more seed beads. Green beads. These are like a really dark wine color. Green seed beads, blue with a few red and yellow pink beads. These are like a dark 
purpley blue kind of color. Like an amber color. A couple of earring wire thingies. I think they're clip-on earring wires. And here's some purple wood beads. Here's some gold, you know, gold colored post earring and earring backs to make your own earrings. Here's some more seed beads and more seed beads, more beads, more beads, it's the whole thing of beads. Beads and beads and beads and beads and more beads. These are pretty. Oh, they don't show as pretty as they really are though. Kind of. You can kind of see their iridescent-y. It's not going to focus, but these are little flower metal beads. And then there's these beads, seed beads and whatnot. We'll start this at um, four bucks. Hi, Nina. I'm making lots of noise over here. Tell my stomach to shut up. It's also time for my medicine. Christine, you got it, Christine. Got another fabric sample book by Carmen. This one has some really pretty blues in it. This one looks watercolored. That one's really pretty. That one's got fuzz all over it, threads everywhere. Everything sticks to certain ones. Threads and threads and threads. There's another one that looks kind of watercolored with flowers. 
another one. That one's, its little friend is cut off, but there's another one like it. Yeah, they do remind me of the color too, Crystal, that those light blue ones. Just okay, I was gonna say I thought there was another page there. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I like the teals in there. It doesn't show up on camera as pretty, but it's got there we go, you can kind of see how it's like a real bright teal. And this is like a like a different type of teal, almost like a, not sea foam, but more teal than a sea foam, but really pretty. See, it looks so dark on camera, but it's not. It's real light, like watercolory, pretty. Pretty! And that's much lighter in person than it is on here. <laughs> it looks really dark when I do that, and then when I hold it like that, it's light, but it's much lighter, actually. That's pretty. That's got all kinds of colors going in it which doesn't pick up on camera. You can't see the greens in it. Nope. That's really bright green, but it looks much more muted in, in the camera. Imagine what you're seeing on the camera and bring the intensive intensity up like to a brighter green. It's more of a, like a lime green. It doesn't look lime green on camera. This too doesn't look the same on camera. A lot of greens don't show up. The blues were showing up pretty okay, a little dark, but pretty okay. But then you get to like these greens and they don't really show up. Like the blues look much darker on camera than they are. And you can't see the lime green in there. Ooh, that one's pretty too. I like all the ones that are like watercolory looking. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, in person, that one's so nice. On camera, it looks terrible. In person, that is like a really bright teal. It looks so dark blue there. And then this is such a bright lime green. It's so pretty. Love that. That's a cool one. This was one of my books. Because I was, a lot of these colors go with like my living room and stuff. And I liked them. But I traded for a different one that I found that I liked even better. Even though now I'm starting to regret it because I forgot how pretty this one is. <laughs> oh, I like this green too. That one's a nice green. See, it doesn't look as like vibrant as it is. I don't know. Anyway, we'll start this at four bucks. All the little fuzzies get off my desk. They make me itchy because after like you sit all night long dealing with all these little fabric books and all the fabric and you get start to get like these little threads and little bits all over you and then they start to make me feel like I'm itchy because there's so many of them all over me like my shirt is like covered they end up down my shirt <laughs> down my pants
crystal. You got it for eight. First, we'll do a giveaway. I have a giveaway. Before I forget. Carmen! Wait, did she win already? No, right? She didn't. No, she did not. Okay. So she gets some clips. Take her a variety of clips. Clippity dippities. And a map and a card. Just some doodads and goodies. I'll put her name on here. Uh, are you not going to fit? No, you're not going to fit. I'll just keep it. You're not either, are you? No. These will. And I'll take some of my blue tape, if I can find it. There it is. Purple tape, whatever it is. I finally found my purple tape. have a wind chime, not a wind chime, a sun catcher doodad, and it's got a lady at the top, and then it's got a rainbow of colors, red, and then there's a clear in between each one, but it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, purple, and then there's the angel wings at the bottom, which are backwards, there are angel wings at the bottom with a it makes a pretty noise. It's a little hanger, dude. And we'll start the bidding at five dollars. I didn't realize I had this already kind of made. The only thing it was missing was the top piece. And it was already made though. And I was like, oh, it's already made except just needs a top piece. Oh, I gotta run to the potty. I'll be right back. All right, <laughs> I've been excessively thirsty today because yesterday I was sweating my ass off all day so that I was, and it didn't really hit me that I was so thirsty until like the middle of the night or well, actually it was this morning. Um, it was like an hour or two before my alarm was set to go off. I woke up to go to the bathroom and I just like drank an entire glass of, you know, 
liquid and then I got up and I was still thirsty and I <laughs> drank more and then I was sweating more today when I was trying to bring everything back here and s still sort through some stuff and so I drank a lot of liquid today <laughs> and so I was like dang it now I gotta pee every five minutes that's because yesterday I was so hot I was like my hair was soaking wet I took it out of it was up in like a ponytail and I had a clip to clip the bottom part of the ponytail up to my head so it would not you know so my ponytail wasn't like flapping like this all over my face because my face was sweaty because I had a mask on and so I had it clipped and so when I finally took it all out it was sopping wet <laughs> I was like oh man I hate that feeling taking your hair out of like a ponytail after it's sopping wet <laughs> joy you got it at 15 it's from an art supply place but it's a actually it's a sewing box with all kinds of stuff in it it's got some brads in it it's got a whole bunch of brads in it and some more there it's got well there must have been a little something in there that had a cover to it but I don't know what happened to that it's got these little thingies in there I don't know what they are for and it's got this thing which it has like a spring in it and I don't know what that's for either but it's got that and then there's some more brads bigger brads and it's got some eyelet thingies and then it's got some sewing supplies because it's supposed to be like a sewing kit I guess it's got these little wood woodsies little tiny wood disc things and it's got this cord elastic cording it's got some safety pins. It's got these little push pin thingies. It's got some more brads. It's got needles. It's got some purple rope. It's got a piece of foam. I don't know why. And then it's got some needles. And it's even got some of those big eyed needles there, but they're they're sharp. These ones are. They're not dull. And then there's some more brads. There is an emery board. Another piece of foam. There's some more needles down here that kind of spilled out of something, so I'll put them up at the top. There's some also some more of those things that spilled at the bottom, but I can't get them right now. Little eyelets. And then there's some more safety pins. So there's all kinds of things in here. And you get the box. It's like a sewing box. With craft supplies and whatnot in it and then also there is this like pin cushiony thing so we will start this out at four bucks came from Omni Art Supplies. I don't even think they exist anymore.
teeny tiny brads. They're little ones. They're little little bit brads. I don't know what these little wood pieces are for. I guess for anything you want them to be. This little. You got it, Crystal. Okay. Now I have some fabrics. Miss Carol, are you, did you, um, did you, uh, read the rules and, and send me an email because I, I, if you sent me an email I didn't get it I just want to let you know I don't have an email from you so make sure you've read the rules completely and send me an email with the information I need and this way you can bid and there won't be any kind of wait for all that stuff oh, that's okay and this is some fabric samples um that are all in like the blue green kind of family teals and stuff like this one which is really soft it's got like soft bits i just swallowed the other one up <laughs> went to pick it up and it was under there and then there it is this big piece that has a couple pieces attached to it. It has like animals on it. Let me turn it around. You can see. It's got like these kind of ancient animals on it. And then there's like a couple pieces that are sewn to it. And then we have this one here. Whoa, get on my lap. And then we have this one's really pretty. I like the color on this one. It's a really pretty teal. And there's this one, which is teal, blue, and green. The green, for some reason, is coming up tan or gray, which is actually like a lime green again. I don't know why it doesn't show up. Orange fuzzy. And then lastly, there is this piece of velvet in here. It's kind of like a remnant piece. There's like a long strip of it <laughs> and then some remnant pieces hanging off of it. And then it gets a little bit bigger. But it's like real soft, like a crushed, I guess that's called crushed velvet when it's like that. And then it's a bit bigger here. And then it gets smaller again with like a long strip, strips hanging off of it. So we will start this at $4 for the lot of all the blue fabrics, the varieties of different types of fabrics, upholstery fabrics. All kinds of stuff. Weird what you see plowing. Hmm? Plowing? Oh. 
Oh, you're having a bad dust storm? Oh, that sucks. Oh, blowing. Oh, gotcha. So the Tasmanian devil. You know that they say the Tasmanian devil lives in the New Jersey pines? And we used to joke around because we'd ride through the pines, the pine barrens. And they people would joke around that if you turned your headlights off, like there was this really long stretch of road. It was like really dark and all the trees and stuff were like really short in this one area. So that's where they say he lives because he's like supposedly really short. It's like an old wives tale, but that's where like look at you can look it up and see. That's where they say that if you look up like where does the ta ta Tasmanian devil like supposedly reside or live or come from, they'll tell you the Pine Barrens in New, in New Jersey. <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, my niece used to tell me about the dust storms in Arizona. And Laura, by the way, your package is on its way. Your, your crystal. I had a little problem with the post office this whole week. I don't know what the hell was going on, but none of, none, none of my pickup times ever came. Um... And I don't, I didn't understand what was going on. So I called my post office and they said, oh, somebody will be there tomorrow. They never came. Um, and then said, and then they said, somebody will be there tomorrow. And then I was going to take it up to the post office and ended up getting up there too late, I guess, because they closed earlier than I expected them to, which was weird. And then me and Chris went to take it to the drop-off box and the drop-off box was closed, which was really weird. We were like, what is going on with the postal service this week? I was like, oh my God, what a pain in the ass. I had a real problem getting anything out. I have a whole thing of packages. Well, had. We finally got them dropped off. But I was just like, good Lord. Ashley, you got it for nine. Where I live in Podunkville, nothing's ever on time or easy. And then with whatever's going on with the postal service, it's not making things any easier. You have tons of smoke. Oh, are you, you're by the, the, the fire. Isn't there a fire or something where you're at? bag of random stuff random art supplies and stuff here's a set of jumbo playing cards and they have minions on them on the picture cards like the jacks <laughs> so I'm gonna put them all back at once oh, so they will not go in there are backwards. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Oh, it doesn't matter. Get in there. And then I have this bag of sparkly, glittery balls. Foam balls. And one that looks like a mermaid. So, I can make some pretties with that. Here's two pro erasers. Here is a bag of gold glitter that is, like these containers are full. They're, I think they're brand new even. Yeah, they're not even used. Brand new things of glitter. Let's see what bag it is. 
here is some big white feathers. These are good to paint on. If you've never used, like, if you've never painted on feathers, it's really cool. I've done videos on it. You can actually paint on your jelly plate. You can, um, you can like do a gold tip with embossing powder on the tip of it. You dip it into the embossing ink stuff, and then you put your embossing powder on it. Or you can actually stamp on the on the feathers. I did all kinds of videos doing funky things with feathers. There is four things of clay. There's a green, a white, a black, and a purple. A dream catcher. And then three things of oil paint, which are still soft. They're just in this bag thing. So we'll start this off at $3 for all of this goody stuff. Random weird stuff. <laughs> Blingy balls, that's right. <laughs> There's a wicked witch in the air. <laughs> Who's that, Laura? Karen, you got it for 15. markers. These are like little, they're called art skills. They're like shorter markers. of two rows of colors. Here is a box. You can put things in, beads and whatnot. And there is a pair of funky scissors in there. Here's some uh, water, water 
pen, uh, water brushes, water paint brushes. <laughs> speak, speak, get it out. <laughs> Here's some more markers. Here are some glitter pens, and they're all still very gushy. They're actually open, you can see. But they're all very nice, and they've got a lot, ton of glitter in them. A ton of glitter. And then here's three fine line uh, red pens. This is a set of colored pencils, little, little colored pencils. And then there is these colorific art markers. So various markers, colored pencils, and things. We'll start this at $4. never used the colorific pens before. Oh. Maybe they don't work very well. These are the only ones that are open. Oh no, they work. That green one doesn't work so well. Let's see. Let's make sure these all work. Yep, that works. The green one's a little... These are the only ones I didn't... I tested those because they were kind of open too. That works. Yeah, the green one, I think, is the... Oh, and the orange one. Green and the orange. The blue one's a little not so great. Green, orange, and blue are not so great, but the rest of them are good. The rest of these are brand new, so they're most likely fine. Well, these are open, but I think these were new. I just think the tape fell off. Yeah, these work fine. I think I tested these ones, I think earlier. I know I tested some of the skinny ones. Hey, yeah, these are good. Yeah, any of the brand new ones are usually always good, but those were open. These ones are actually pretty juicy. Juicy! And these ones write nice too because I tried since they were already kind of open I was like well I might as well try it these ones write nice have a nice feel to them we were talking about big lots the other day Janie and these are from big lots but these ones were the only ones that were used I think these are some of these are used too, but they're colored pencils, so it's not like they run out of ink. But these are cute. These would be a great little gift for like a kid to have. Or even just for yourself for traveling purposes. They're nice and small and compact. Stephanie! You got it, Stephanie. stamps and stamp supplies. Here's a giant stamp pad that's pink and it's still juicy. I made the mistake of sticking my fingers in it at the creative reuse and was like, oh. I didn't do a very good job stamping, but stamp pad. A foam stamp that's just a rectangle. This is like a teapot. 
there's another ink that's a green one. This one's also juicy because I stuck. I usually stick my fingers in it <laughs> to make sure they're juicy before I take them home. And there's a blue one. Here is a small black one. Here is an orange one and a purple one and a red one. And then here's a zigzag pattern stamp. Here is an eagle stamp. There is a whole bunch of little stamps in here. I'm not gonna take them all out. There's a, a trick or treat owl, <laughs> isn't that cute? There's a little sheriff. This one was mine from a long time ago. There's some in here that are mine from years ago that I threw in here, because when I was cleaning stuff out. I'm talking these, I got these back in like the early 90s. <laughs> these as well these little shapes little st uh, the star the square the heart the butterfly these are from a long time ago here's another halloween one here is a little like baby onesie on a hanger here's some more small ones here's some more small ones there's a little one that says kiss me here is a bunch of little stamp pads. Orange, red, green. I think that's black, it's sealed. Um, teddy bear. Another bag with a few little stamps in it. This is a brand new set, it's got the plastic on it. It says baby, welcome baby. Welcome, baby. There's a little stamp. And there's a big one there. I can't tell what the heck it is, but here is another black stamp pad. One that says "Let's party." And then let's see another little stamp pad. <laughs> there's a little owl and a dog on a sled. One that says "A bridal shower." A little teacup, a Y. This is that little swirly one. I found earlier. A little heart. Oh, stamp. What was that doing there? This is. It says, "Happy birthday, dear you." This has a little animal on it. Some more stamp pads. Let's see. That's a stamp block, but it doesn't have a stamp on it. Is it in here? I don't think so. There's an ice skate. Another teacup from Stampin' Up. A star. One that says good job. An acrylic block that has a flower stamp on it. A little zigzaggy thing. Little foot footsies. Another teacup. A football. This is a little parrot bird. A blue stamp pad. Oh, an, a little bird's nest. I was looking at it upside down going, what the hell is that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. A fish? Um, what's this? I don't know. Some little dude on there? What's this? Oh, it's like a question mark. What is this? It's a period. That is a little sign. Prince. <laughs> There's a thanks from Stampin' Up. A mouse holding a heart. I don't know what that is, but it's something. Another block with no stamp on it. Oh, nope, wait a minute. Give me that back. Here's the stamp here, I think. No, I don't know. Well, either way, you could stick it on there, even if it's not. Another teacup from Stampin' Up. And I don't know what that is. Oh, and there's... Looks like a cat, maybe? 
And then this says, great effort. Okay then, I'll put this in there in case there's a stamp that you want to mount to it. I don't know. Anywho, we'll start this off at five bucks for all those yummy stamps. I love you very much. Or, I don't know, something like that. A star, a little candle. Ew, a piece of foam. Get rid of that. It's like a paint tube. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to stamp it. What is that thing? don't know what that's supposed to be. What's this one supposed to be? Oh, it's supposed to be a little guy's face, I guess. <laughs> a little dude. A little dude. Christmas tree. Is that? Oh, it's like little stars and confettis and stuff. It's a button. Oh. That one says love. Oh, there's another little button. And these are like those little ones. get rid of this bag and put them in here. That one's got hair on the back of it. Great. I just left it on the ground. Put it back here. What's that? Somebody carved that one? It looks like somebody carved this one. Huh. They made a little, that little thing. They carved it. They carved it. Ashley, you got it for 16. say? I need to know what it says. Oh, happy birthday. It was upside down. Happy birthday. Okay. Anyway. Stamps. Palm leaves just flew over? Good lord. Batten down the hatches, Janie.
got to live dangerously. Janie? No, Janie don't need to live any more dangerously than she already does. <laughs> she needs to do the opposite. <laughs> oh, let me move some stuff out of my way and grab a couple of things real quick. run out of room. And I run out of stuff. Well, I need to get stuff here. Let me go grab what I need. Hold on one second. left the majority of the fabric sample books out in the out in the hallway so that they wouldn't be in my way here. Whew. Okay. I have two of these exact same ones. So whoever bids on, you know, top two highest bidders will get one of each. So this one is like a, um, it's got like a pinkish, you see it, it's like a pinkish, it's like a vintagey pink looking, I don't know how to explain it. I think there's a lot of neutrally, well, there's some colors in here too. This too has like a pinkish hue to it, a little bit. And there's that. And there's this kind of has like a seafoam green to it, but it's like really pale, it almost doesn't look it. Same with this one. Then this one has like a gray on that. This one has that pink again. Pink, obviously pink. And then again, very pale pinks in there, but it's hard to see because that one looks darker than it is. It's like pink plaid. Then we've got really pale, like buttery yellow colors. And this too is like a not quite white, it almost looks it, but it's got like almost a yellow cast to it. And then these are yellowish. And this one's a little darker, yellowy tan color. And then those are like a tan color. Then we got like a brownish color. More brown. And then we're into some yellow, more yellow orange colors. $31.75. 223 yards. I don't know what that means, but okay. Hmm. Then we've got like a deeper yellow, like yellowy orange colors. Get off there. Yellow, pale yellow again. Yellow and then some greens. It's a really pretty book though. It's got pretty colors in it. That's a pale green another green color. See, this looks like it does on camera as it does in person, and it's a greenish color. Why does that one look? I don't know. Yellowy greens, I guess, do, but not the brighter greens. Only these do. You can see that that's green, and that's kind of green. Mm. You can see that that's green. It looks a little darker. It's not that dark, but I don't know. Camera plays tricks on you. And then this pretty blue, pastel bluey color. And then this is a pastel blue with like a teal. Hi, Janet. And some more teals. All right. So we'll start this at
like the pink pages are pretty, pretty. This is like a lavender pink. I don't know if it's lavender or pink. Can't tell. That's really pretty though. That one there. I'd like to have a blanket that was like this. Pretty. I like the colors. The colors. I heard you made some pretty ATCs, Janet. I have to see the picture of them. Did Karen leave? Where's she at? More fuzzies on my desk. All right, both you, Ashley, and Stacy, four bucks a piece. How's that? One for Ashley, one for Stacy. Got another random bag of stuff. This is calendar pages. And yes, they're from 2014. But if you dye them, coffee dye them, and then stick them in, you know, fold them and put them in journals, and it gonna matter, right? No. I have a bunch of those that I coffee dye, stuff like that. Here are some multiplication cards. There's not a whole lot in the box, but you can use them for your you can use them on your jelly plate to paint on because they're nice and sturdy, you know, pretty sturdy cardstock. Or you can use them as journal spots and cover them with pretty paper or just put them in junk journals. There's some random cards in here, too. I could probably fit them in that box, maybe. There's some other random cards. Like a weird, some weird card. I don't know what these are from. Oh, that's right. These are those Signa cards from... When Chris worked at Cigna, with these cards, and these are from that thing you put the red in front of, and you can see the words. Um, what's the name of this thing? Um, shoot, I can't remember the name of the game. And then here's some more multiplication cards, and then here's some other trivia cards and whatnot. And here's some more of those Cigna cards. Which ones will fit in there? Uh, those will not. These will. So I'll put those in in a minute. And then I've got a thing of like, like woven, kind of a stiff string. These are boxes you can make. This, like one of them, you make one, 
is the top and the other one is the bo bottom piece. There's a bunch of them in here. Here are a bunch of letters. These are cool because there's like every letter in the alphabet and then what's cool about most of them are like that one right it looks like it's really thick but really it's like a little piece of paper that you rip off so you can like rip off and it's like a post-it note almost but you can rip off what you want and then you know you have a whole bunch of them on each one so there's every letter has those um some of them don't every letter has those but some of them are not those some of them are just regular but there is every letter of the rainbow on these little like paper ones you know you can find it. like a bunch of color letters you know m there's some there h so there's a bunch of different letters in there i thought they were kind of neat how you could pull them off like that kind of cool oh here's a whole stack of trivia cards Brand new stack of trivia cards. Here is some ribbon, various ribbons. Another Signa card. <laughs> Not that anybody cares about that very much. Here is a little bag, and then there's a little die cut in there. Oh, and some more letters. I'll throw those in with the other things. And there's that one. There's some more letters. <clears throat> Numbers, letters. This is like a little bag. More cards down here. More Sigma cards. And then some Phase 10 cards. Feet. I don't think that'll fit in there. Well, that one just says enjoy. <laughs> And then there are some bags, some little pencil bags and whatnot. This one, most of these were mine. I went through and got rid of a bunch of the ones I didn't want. This one. This one here. This one here. And there was this one here. And then there's some more cards here. Shapes and colors. And then lastly, there is like one of these erector set type of things. Put together and make a car. And it looks like all the pieces are here. So, like the little battery thing, the motor, the base little bits all the little things are in this bag here there's even like a little battery operated soldering iron thing a bunch of screws and bolts and tires instructions to build you a car i used to love doing stuff like that building these little things my brother had some of these kind of sets when he was a kid, but I used to always end up doing it. <laughs> oh, I just got the battery thing. Can't do nothing about that. All right. We'll start this off at four bucks, too, for all that. And whenever Janie's ready, and then I'll stick these cards in here. cards are in there in a bag by themselves. Don't know why.
Anybody ever play the card game Spit? You can answer after we're bidding, after the bidding's over. But I used to love that game. I used to play that with my nieces all the time. You got it for eight bucks. Alright, we've got another fabric sample book. Soft. Soft is softy. I kept thinking there was two pages there. There is a big string. Get off. yellows and teals and pinks and things. We'll start this off at four dollars. Get off of me fuzz. And then we'll do another giveaway after that. Butternut.
shoes are dry. Everything is dry. <laughs> 39 seconds. Well, I want that extra nine seconds now. Stacy, you got it. All right, now we'll do the giveaway. Stephanie, you won some clips. I was gonna put these in the auction because these were my clips. Like, all, I had a whole big thing of them, and I, and I, when I found them, they were in my closet. I'm like, why do I have these? I don't really use them. <laughs> I said they'll be good give they'll be good giveaway items. So there's four clips. There's some of these stickers that you can jelly print on because they're like a paper. So they would be cool. I need to have these jelly printed stickers. And then there's some cards, just random blank cards and envelopes that you can use for whatever. You can use them in journals or what have you. So that will be for you. I spell your name so I spell it how I think it is. I try to spell it like it's supposed to be said, but I don't spell it properly ever. <laughs> I don't think these are going to fit in there. Maybe a couple of them. Mm, no, never mind. These will. Hi, Debbie. What I'm going to do is I'll clip these together with a binder clip. And I'll put that backwards so I can't see who it is. Come on. Clip, stupid. Another bag with some art supply thingies. I've got some glitter neon gel pen thingies. I've got some big fat, um, you know what I mean, colored pencils. Couldn't speak it. Couldn't say it. These are retractable highlighters in pink and yellow. Woodless pencils. Drawing pencils. Oh, these are watercolor pencils, but they're... What colors are they? Oh, I thought they were just black pencils. Oh, okay, there's colors. I'm an idiot. They're watercolor pencils. Orange, pink, purple, blue, green, yellow. Okay. And then there's a set of 24 Crayola colored pencils. And then there is a set of washable markers. And then there's this pom-pom thingy. Gives you two hanging pom poms in white, I guess. Yeah, the white ones. You can probably dye those. Anyway, we'll start this at three dollars. Where'd my pen go? some markers and pens and pencils and things. I got this cool shelf thing. Well, it's like a, it's like a cubby thing. It's got 
three sections and you could put like paper in it in different sections and it's plastic I have one that's like cardboard type of thing in my closet and I keep a lot of paper in that um, but this one I was able to put right here next to me on this on my like file cabinet type of drawer thingies um, and this way I can I was able to free up a whole bunch of drawers next to my desk which was nice because I was able to put a lot of paper and cardstock that I had out here that I would keep out here in it and different things which was really cool I was happy to find it actually the guy that there was a guy that worked there and he'll always you know they always suggest things to me to get they'll be like oh do you need this do you need this do you know anybody in your auctions that needs this <laughs> and so he had these storage things because I'm always looking for storage stuff when I'm there that's like the big thing I look for is see if they have any good storage stuff because I always need storage crap. So I was happy to find that because that's very handy. And it's a good size too. And I just dropped a bunch of paper on the ground. I wonder if my camera can show it. Oh, I can't turn my camera. That's right, it's taped up there. Dang it. Oh well. Oh, I could take a picture of it though. Where's where my phone is. And I just rolled over my papers. I'm a hot mess. Where's my phone at? Huh. I don't know what I... Oh, there it is. I'll take a picture of it in a minute. Repotted? Reported? <laughs> um, Jeannie, you got it for nine. I show it. I got all kinds of paper already in it though. It's that thing. It has all the little cubbies for papers. I got that there. It's definitely handy. have a faux leather fabric sample book thingy. Yeah, I love storage too. Whenever I see anything storage, I'm like, ooh, I can use that. <laughs> I found something else. What else did I find there? Um, oh, dang it. What did I find there? I don't remember, but there was stuff that Chris had put downstairs for me that I found that I'm going to paint and do stuff with, but I don't even remember what it was now. Don't remember. Anyway, there's some faux leather in here. White leather. Oh, my storage never stays empty very long. I always end up reorganizing things. And so I'll start this off at two bucks, two dollars. You've been changing all your storage? Well, that's cool. 
Yeah, I, I changed things out. Like I changed. I, that's why I had those two little drawer things in the auction earlier because I changed things out. You know, and whenever I get something that I think will work better than what I have, I'll switch things around. It's rare that I'll get rid of storage. I'll just use it in a different way or somewhere else or I'll make it work better somewhere else or whatever. I, I, I also put all my stencils. Oh, that's another thing. I have a bunch of stencils. I went through my stencils and I got stencils. I'll do those next. But I went through and I put all my stencils in this binder. And so now instead of them being in the drawer all thrown together, they're in here and I, and I could see all my stencils, you know, all the way through. And I even have some that were way over there on the other side of the room that I didn't have room in the drawer for. Now I have all them in here too. So I was able to put them all in so I could see them all. See, I have like some of my bigger ones, which I never have over here because I never knew where to put them. So I brought them over. So now I have them all in here. And they're right next to my desk in this big ass binder. And these are the only two that didn't fit in the little, or three that didn't fit in the sleeve. So those I just have in here. I still have some big 12 by 12 stencils um, that, that are on the other side of the room, but I don't use those that often. They're for like bigger projects. So, but yeah, I do have some stencils I'm gonna put up because I cleaned all my stencils out and realized I had stencils I don't use. And I was like, well, some of them are brand new that I got from Deco Arts because I was in their Deco Arts um, artist program thing and I got a bunch of them and I didn't really use them. But that freed up an entire drawer and then some to put them that way. And I put like the really small ones that I have, all those little, little, little ones. There was no point in putting them in there so I put them all on here, on my little mixed media type of stencils. They're all in this ring and they're on that magnet thing that I have next to my desk. So they just stay right there. Bima, you got it for eight. Oh. A big 12 by 12 just like a funky mixed media kind of pattern thing I never used it I think I I don't even remember when I got it but I don't think I've ever used that one at all no I haven't to make like you know for mixed media or your belly plate or whatever and then I have it's also brand new it has two pages in here of letters and then this one as well has two pages with letters. And there's this one, again, brand new. I've had this a really long time, from a long time ago. And there's this one which has all angel wings on it. It's a, I've never used this one either. It's still kind of like glued. You pull it off of there and it's still on the backing. But this has holes in it so you can put it in a binder already. I wish all stencils did that. Here is one that's not even got the, like this can be used as a stencil and a mask because you obviously you could take the parts out to make the stencil 
and then you can use these the parts inside don't throw them away use them as a mask in other words like you put the mask part down and then you spray around it and it gives you the the negative space around it there is this one here which is like doilies and little vines and then on this side there's two stencils in here that's right isn't there's two or three i don't know two i think yeah two and this side has butterflies and like lattice and something else at the bottom but little bag stop slipping off my thing get back here here. Oh, and there's this little rulery thing stuck in there. Here's another one with the punch outs in it. You can use it as a mask and a stencil. Here's some with like vines and stuff. Here is some like corner pieces, and then there's like a bird and a rose. This is a brand new one um, that has like all of those on it there's two of them in there that's like an eagle oh, my thing doesn't focus it says faith live for today um something love i can't remember what it is honor love or something this one has like typewriter key thingies this one has an owl like a funky owl this one Get stuck to every other one. Has like keyholes. This one has a pineapple, pineapples, and it says family home, welcome family, welcome home, and like a big pineapple y one. This one has letters. They're backwards because I put the thing in backwards. I probably used this one once. This one has the chocolate shop, a swirl, love, be mine, kiss me, sweetheart. And then this one has like butterflies and an angel. This one I got for free somewhere. I can't remember where I got it, but it, it was like a little coffee cup. Then there's this one with just different shapes and flowers and things like leaves, flowers, paisleys, things like that. And the edge on this one has a design so you can use the edge too. Um, then there's this one, which is good for mixed media. Oops, I'm trying to put my hands under it so you can see the designs a little better. And then this one has um, the days of the week, and sign, remember, thanks, joy, a design there, stars, butterfly, yada, yada. This is just a heart. This one is... What the hell? A, B, C, D, E, F. Where's G and H and I? I have no idea. There must have been another part to this. Maybe I didn't have it. I think I got this one from the Creative Reuse or something. I don't remember. Anyway, it's some letters and numbers. And then here's music notes. And I think that's everything. Yeah, that's it. So, a bunch of stencils. I'll start this at five bucks. Oh, the coffee one is creative memories for journaling. Oh, see, I didn't, I didn't know. I got it somewhere. Oh, that's right. I got this at the expo. I got this at the expo. I think. I think they gave it to me for free or something at the expo. It says fifty cents, but I got. I think I got it for free. I believe it was at the expo. So. But if you don't have any stencils, these are some good ones to start out with. It's got some patterns, and you got letters, and you got some pictures, like, you know, the angels and the owl and stuff. It's a good variety to get you started with stenciling and with your, you know, especially for your jelly plate or whatever. The owl is cute on the jelly plate. I used it one time. It doesn't look like it because it's clean as hell because I only used it once. But it was cute. It did make a cute thing for the jelly plate. I used it on the small jelly plate on a piece of paper that was already like had paint on it that I already put on the jelly plate. And then I put the owl on the jelly plate and over some paint. And then I pressed the paper on and it came up real cute because it was like in darker colors on the lighter background. And it was actually really cute.
but I only used that one time. That was it. <laughs> and I just didn't have enough room to keep all of these. And I'm like, well, since I've only used the, I either only use them once or not at all. And it was like some of these I've had for like six and seven years. And it's like, okay, since I never use them, you know, am I, what's the odds I'm actually going to use them then? You know, it was like, just get rid of them. You know, I don't need to keep hoarding stencils. There's no point if I'm not using them at all. This little one with the key locks on it gets caught on everything. So put it in like a sleeve or put it in between two pieces of paper. Or you're going to drive yourself nuts because it's already caught again. I just undid it before. Dang it. You are a pain in the ass, I tell you. Now it's caught again. Oh my god. These little things on it get caught on everything. Oh, I hate it. That's why I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> this is the one. I just hate it because of that. I don't hate the pattern. I just hate the fact that it's got these little pieces that get stuck on everything. Oh my god. Every time you think you got it unstuck, another part of it gets stuck. <gasps> I don't like you. Keep you between those two. This one has too many holes. Um, Gail, you got it for 25. Yeah, there's a lot of good stencils in here. What was that? Oh, where are my paper clips? fabric sample book that is one of mine that I had that I absolutely love this one and it's got really pretty colors in it like lime greens and yellows and some pink um, and it's got this one with this peacock heads and that's in lime green The auction didn't start until all the stuff was shown. What are you talking about? I showed everything before it started. Her, I bet you her video is behind. Why are you saying go, Janie? <laughs> Is that accidental? I didn't know what was going on. I thought, oh, what happened? <laughs> anyway, here's some another green. I love this one though. That's cool. It's got like, if you can't see, but it's like blue and then it goes into like a dark green. But this was one of my favorite books. It's so pretty. I love all the patterns. And it's got a paper. And it's got this one, which is like a another bright green. And then this one, which is really pretty. It's like a double piece. And then this one's really pretty because it's like purple at the tip and green. Let's see if you can see. 
see it. And then green, not yellow. It looks kind of yellowy, but it's actually green and purple at the tip. I love that one. Here's another one with peacock heads. And there's a picture of it. <laughs> and there's this one, which the background is bright green, but it's showing up tan again. And these are purple, and these are darker green. I like that one. That one's purple and pink and green. And there's the full thing of that one. So you can even use these pages for backgrounds on things. Here's pink and green. It's like a pale pink and green. And then here's the this one's green and with like a pink background kind of, sort of. It's hard to show, but it's kind of like, kind of got a pink background. And this one's really pretty, pink and green again. The peacocks. And there's a picture. And there's some more pink and green. Green with little bits of pink in it. And like teal. This one's green. And then it's got like a, almost like a sea foam green around the outside of it. And this one's green, mostly. Blue and green. This one's green with like a background of like a faded pattern. That's like a, it looks denim, but it's not. It's like a, I don't know, like a sea blue kind of, I don't know what color it is. It's not what it looks like on camera, but. <laughs> I like that one. That one's all blues, like teal and like sea foam kind of color. That one's like a sea foam color in there. That one's like a pale green. This doesn't show up on camera. That one's like a sea foam and green. Sea foam in there and dark green and then a lighter green. Yellow. Yellow and blue and green. Or yellow and blue, really. I don't think there's any green. Yellow and blue. Yellow flower, flowery one. What are the dimensions of the large pages of what? The the fabric? Oh, I'll show you in a second. Um, this is yellow with gray at the tip, like a blue-gray. Here's yellow and gray. More yellow and gray. More yellow and gray on that. Yellow and gray, yellow and gray yellow and kind of a gray in the background of the peacocks and the flowery one and the stripey one and more flowery yellow one more stripey gray and yellow more gray and yellow more gray more gray and yellow and then there's more pages back here of the thing so you wanted to know what size the pages were well, the biggest pages, you want to know what size the book is or the pages? Because the pages go up about halfway up the thing. Like, they go up to, like, here-ish. So they're bigger than they seem, but it's hard to say. Um, so if you're just looking at the pages here, it's 11 inches by 10 and a half. So 10 and a half by 11 but if you go up a little bit, they'd probably be about 12 inches or so, maybe a little more. 12 inches by 11. They go up under the flap. They just don't, they don't, they go up, you know, they usually only go up about that far, you know, like halfway usually. I've had some that went up almost all the way. So if you had one that didn't go up under the flap any more than here, that's odd. Usually they go up at least like a quarter, like a third of the way up at least. Uh, at least the ones I've always taken apart have. Like I can even tell here. Yeah, this goes up about that much. So yeah, it goes up almost a little bit more than halfway. I could tell by the way it was hooking onto it. So, yeah. 
Oh, really? It was a wood block in there? Yeah, usually what it is is it'll if you open it, it'll have like these really long staples down into the cardboard or into into like and there'll be a piece of cardboard over top and then there'll be like really three really long staples. And so what you do is you pry this open with which you can do and then it'll have another piece there underneath and then you pry that one off and then you yank the staples out. Anyway, we'll start this off at five bucks. But either way, even if you just cut it here, it's plenty of fabric to do like whatever little, you know, craft projects or whatever. You can even make like, you know, wall hangings. Like that's the thing that I'm doing with a lot of mine. This one was saved for that reason. I was going to make, but I found something else I liked. So I got that. Um, so I traded it out, but I like you know, I'm going to do, as soon as my basement's done, I'll be doing a whole bunch of them because I'm going to be redoing stuff upstairs, stuff downstairs. So I'm going to be making, and I've got, I've been collecting a lot of frames. So I've got a ton of frames. And so like little frames, big frames, I'm going to make little art pieces out of some of the fabrics I got. So like I'd take a piece of fabric and if it's a smaller frame, I'd put, you know, some of the fabric in the frame and I'm not going to put the glass on it, so I don't care if it had glass or not, didn't matter. And then I would do like some fabric, and then in the center I'm going to put like something, whether it's um, one of the antique earrings I have that are really pretty with like a thing on it. Something will go in the center of it, or like if it's a big piece, like there was one piece in here in particular. Where is it? Is it this one? No that I wanted to do in my kitchen. It was one of the green ones. I thought it was in this book. I think so. Maybe it was, no, not that one. Where is that one at? Maybe it was this one. It might've been this one. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm gonna put like in a frame and then in the center of it, put something. Um, I'm gonna do a video, a whole video on it. Um, I just wanted to wait until I had things downstairs out of my way so that I can focus on moving the art that's already on my walls and kind of a, figuring out how I wanted to put, especially the, over the couch, because that's where I'm going to do like most of it. I'm going to do a whole grouping with a lot of the from fabric from these. Plus these are good for also journal covers, because even if you don't have enough fabric in there to fold it over and use it, use one side and glue it or fasten it to another piece that's the same size. Since they're kind of all coordinating, you can have like a nice cover by using two pieces of the fabric and then you can either put rings in it and you know put holes in it and rings and then do a back cover or you can just cover a piece of like cereal box with the fabric and do like one piece for the front one piece for the spine you know since they kind of coordinate you can do like this for the front you could take this and wrap it around the spine you know and then you would use another piece separate piece for the back like you can use a different color of the peacock one for the back you know whatever one was in here there were several of them it, you know what i mean so like you could do all kinds of stuff with this as far as like journal making and stuff these are great for that anyway um who won that oh laura you got this but there's all kinds of potential with these you know Cause you get such a variety and they're all kind of coordinated that you can do a lot of stuff with it. And also, if you go on, on YouTube, I think there's a bunch of videos showing what people do with the different fabrics and stuff. So, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Alright, I have some 
noisy tins that are good for storage. I, I always like these big flat ones. These big square ones are good for like, you know, putting your, putting things in. It was a chocolate biscuits. This one's a pink pokey dotted one, and on the inside there's this little one here, which I really like this little one. It's blue and gold. And then there is this one, which is like a vintage. It's definitely a vintage bear tin. And then there's this one here, just like a cool silvery one. I wonder where these went. I grabbed a couple of these little cards, postcards. Anyway, little tin. And then there's one more thing. There's this little box, like a little put things in it. So more storage stuff. We'll start this at three dollars. keep a lot of the stuff that I make like personally like my little embellishments that I've made I usually keep them in tins a lot like I have tins over on my shelf that I keep things like that and I started moving things into um, um, what do you call it the shoe boxes the plastic shoe boxes because they stack a little easier on my shelf these don't stack on that one shelf as well, but I have some of these in like cubbies and stuff that I keep all my embellishments that I made. So that's how I recognize like, oh, it's a tin, so it's got to have my stuff in it, like kind of thing. I have a tin, a couple of tins, and then I have boxes. And then I also have tins where I keep like, like, you know, I thought about moving that stuff into here, but I'm like, no, I don't want it to be any bigger <laughs> because I have my paper scraps. I keep like in tins a lot of times by my desk. Um, a lot of times I'll keep tins for that stuff. I have another one under here, which has, which is dusty as hell. Goodness. This one here has little, um, sticker things and which actually I have another place for these to put them, but this one has like little sticker loose kind of stickers <laughs> that I keep by my desk. Where's the top? Oh. Where's the top so I keep things in tins all the time. I like tins. Because most of the time the lids stay on these nicer than like a box. You know, like if you get a box with a lid, the lid's usually really loose. Whereas these are, they stay on there pretty good. So you don't lose your stuff out of them. If something falls either. Which is annoying because tins are noisy when they fall. It's like, toing, you hear that. And I'm like, dang it, something fell. Something's always falling in my room. Jeannie, you got it for nine. Let me find a bag. I do that. There it is. This 
one back in there. I actually put that one inside of there. And this one inside of here. So before we had faux leather sample book, now I have real leather pieces. It's kind of a stiffer leather. Um, because they're lined, they have like, they've been lined with some things because they're stiffer for whatever they make with them. These are like off pieces they smell really good though I love the smell of leather hmm. so these would be good to make like you can make like some jewelry with these if you like to make leather earrings and stuff you can make like like circle earrings and then you can like glue stuff to them like little things and make like earrings or if you just like you know doing you can make like a bracelet it's good for that stuff because it's not super thin they're super flimsy and then there's a brown piece and there's more black pieces. There is a big long leather. Thick. This is like a thick ass leather. Strip brown leather. It almost be a belt. More black leather. More black leather. So start this at five bucks and you can make some cool stuff with this yeah you can make coasters with these that would be cool too I used to make jewelry with it though I would make really cute like little earrings and stuff little dangly earrings like you can even just make little triangles and then you take like um, like a uh, uh, either a fabric marker or you could take like anything that'll stain it, like any kind of ink to just stain the edges. You can make them a little darker and then you have like that and then you could put like just a little thing in the middle, like not like a rhinestone because that's kind of cheesy looking, but you can make like put a little, um, I don't know if I still have any, like I had these little um, flower, metal flower thingies that were just little cute little not charms really they weren't didn't have a hole in them or anything but they were yeah I don't think I have any but like you know not these necessarily but you know like little blingy pieces these are too big but you can like put a little like if you had a little one you could put, make an earring and then put like something like that in the middle of it and it's real easy to do because just put a little e6000 on it, it'll stay really well but I used to, I don't know what happened to those little flowers I, I must have used them for something or like even a filigree. Like I have these filigrees somewhere. Here they are. You can make like the leather, make like an earring. You can make like a square or something. And you could take like one of these filigrees and put it on there. You know, if you cut it out and make like and make an earring out of it. Hmm. Whatever. Yeah, I had some of the studs, too, that you push through. They were kind of like a brad almost, but it was like I had the things, little feet on it. I had those, too. I still have some of those, actually. Um, yeah. I used to make bracelets. Like, I would cut a strip and put a snap on, you know, a snap and then the thing on the other end. And in the middle, I would put, like, the little things that would go in it. They were a little bigger. Or you could put, like, those type of blingy things, like, from before. 
this is a little thick to make um, a bracelet with this one here but these are good these aren't as thick as this one this one's about double the thickness so this would be good for you know making like a cool strap or something for a journal or like I don't know funky stuff you know you gotta use your imagination with stuff and you can find a lot of uses for things like this no sale okay then it's all mine <laughs> I have enough, I have several other pieces I've kept Yeah, you can make leather tags, leather ATCs. You can make decorations for the center of like a journal cover. Take it and cut out a square and then like layer it or, you know, make a leather accents, binding of a journal, make a cool leather binding for the journal, leather straps that go around the binding of the journal, like all kinds of stuff. Leather's fun to play with because it gives like a gives a cool look to something oh that's cool it's leather you know just kind of add it in to something no I had five bucks on it yeah you want it for five bucks Karen you can have it it's yours if you want it it's definitely worth it <laughs> You need to, she needs to catch up because I don't see her bidding on it. Does anybody else? Yeah, you. I think her video is still a little behind. Karen, I think your video is a little behind. Because you didn't actually bid. Like, I'll try to show you. Look. kind of sucking tonight it was doing really well because you were you were bidding really well earlier oh you didn't bid on it oh okay 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 gotcha i thought you'd maybe bid on you thought you bid on it i don't know why like internet do that weird stuff but, but yeah maybe you you can make some cool stuff with it I have some leather that I've kept that I want to do some stuff with, but I haven't had time to do it yet. Swallowing me, help. The bags were swallowing me. Swallowing me whole. Oh. Anyway, it spit me back out again. I have some seersucker fabric. And this is like a pale pink. And you can see there's a bunch of it there. I'm not going to pull it all apart, but. And then the same fabric, but in a really pretty like blue like a light aqua kind of blue and again this is more than the pink one there's more here than the pink one even um and then there's a little bit of white with some fuzz hanging on it a little bit of white and then there's some pink with yellow blue flowers and this is folded over one, two, six times what you see here. So 
use those pieces. I'll start this off at $3 for those. Whatever my things are. was sitting with a bunch of other fabric so that's probably why it's covered in threads. Get off my finger. Crystal, you got it. For seven. Get off me, fuzzy. Alrighty. Um, okay, so Janie had given me some stuff and I did not have it in the auction the last couple of times because well, one of the things I wasn't sure about, but I just opened this for the first time and I was like, oh my god, I love it. It's a glass angel and it lights up and the colors change on it. Which I don't know if you'll be able to see it better this way. Isn't that pretty? I love it. If it was back when I used to collect angels, I would totally be all over this. Isn't that pretty? There's that. There is another angel. This one has a little bit of a chip on the corner, but you can't really see it. It says, may there always be an angel by your side. It's like ceramic, little hangy dude. If it's hanging up, you wouldn't see that little chip on it anyway. And then there's this little box that looks like it holds a pen, which I love the little box, um, but it has this necklace in it. Jenny, did you say you made this necklace? I almost stole this necklace. I love this necklace. It's so pretty. It's right up my alley. I love it. Isn't that beautiful? I think she bought it. Didn't you? Did you buy it? Isn't that pretty? I love it. Whoever wins it has to share it with me once a year. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you have to send it to me to wear once a year. It's got all pretty, pretty 
um, in these. Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. You made it. Oh, okay. It's really pretty. I love it. It's very pretty. I love this little thing. So, it's a mishmash of things, but it'll be these three things. The two angels and a necklace. And we'll start it at $5. But yeah, I love that necklace. It's really pretty. I used to make jewelry like this, too, years ago. I never make anything for myself, though. I don't know why. But very pretty. This is really pretty. And it's got like little, like there's like little fibers in there that reflect the light really pretty. Darla. Darla, you got it for fifteen. bubble wrapping this really well too. These little sheets are not going to be able to go back on it so I'll use like, I have bigger, like a big roll of bubble wrap that I'll wrap the crap out of it with. where I've had these on top of that thing for ever because I didn't want to put them anywhere else because I didn't want them to break. So I'll just put them back there. For now. So that I can keep them safe. this fabric sample book it's got some things cut out of it but I don't mind cutting this for whoever wins it I'll just cut from here because it's pretty big and it'll be a little cheaper to ship to because it'll just be the fabric then but it's got some really pretty patterns in it um, it's got like this one here like nice bright colors 
florals. This one has dragonflies and little bees on it and stuff. And there's some like plaid colors. Some bright florals. Some orange. Yellow. Orange, yellow, pinks, that type of thing. What? What I miss? Oh, you want me to send the angels to Care Heart? And you want me to keep the necklace? Oh, that's sweet. You sure you don't want the necklace at least? Oh, thank you. I'm sure Carol will really like the angels. Let me put that in here. Thank you. Thanks, Darla. this book together they didn't put that piece in very well did they now <laughs> there's this one with the bird okay I'll write it on your thing the one with the angel wings okay start the bidding at three bucks on this one and like I said I'll cut it the fabric out of it if you want me to whoever wins it because this one's pretty easy to get to the and there's not as much of it so it wouldn't be that hard to do let me write it on your thing Gail so send the one with the angel wings Oh, okay, Karen. I didn't see that either, but I'll 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 put that. All right, let me see. Um, where did I write that at? On yours, I wrote down one. Oh, that's right. It was the thing. Okay. And give little paints to care. Okay. Alrighty. 
Ashley. You got it, Miss Ashley. And then I have the grouping of some green fabrics and whatever this thing is. Um, it has like these little holes in it to put things in. And it's like a, I don't know what you would use it for, but it has holes in it. Pockets, little pockets. Every one of those is a little pocket. I think there's two of them in here. Is there two of these or one? Oh, well, if I come to it, but I don't know what that's for, but I'm sure you can find a use for it. Then there is a green table runner. Well, it's greenish. It's like a weird green color and it's got a stain on it right here, but you know, you can cut the trim off and use the trim or just cover it with something in those areas because it's pretty long. Oh, it has stuff here too. Oh, it looks like paint or something. Well, you can cut the trim off of it and use this meshy fabric for projects and just cut out that or replace this fabric with a piece. Just glue it onto the back of it. You know, cut out this piece and then on the back, glue a new piece on. You, if you use it this way, you're never gonna see the back that it's glued on. Just use a little hot glue, cut it out <laughs> a little bit bigger and then glue it on. That's what I'd do. And use it. Or do whatever. Just use the trim for projects. I don't know. And then there is this piece, which is a long strip of like a green and white, green and cream color or white color. Then there is this one. And then there is, whoops, there goes that. There is this one. Green and light, really, really light blue background and these really pretty pink flowers. It looks like hibiscus flowers or something. Or are they lilies? I don't know. And then there is this piece which is a long piece and it's got like green well it's not green green but it's kind of like a green kind of color and then it's got these red flowers a little bit of gray and it has this velcro on it because it would stay on the little hanger like that i guess for the sample place and then, oh yeah here's the other one of these things Used for knitting needles. Well, there you go. Now you can put million, millions of knitting needles in it. <laughs> this one's really pretty. This one is pale blue with green, well, pink flowers, blue flowers. And then there is this one. Tag on it. That one's like a coral color and green. Yeah, I have I had I had sold some paintbrush roll things too that were the kind that roll up. I don't know what they I don't know, I don't know how they work. This is like a pale yellow with the green background. It looks weird on camera, but it's not that weird looking. It's just like a pale yellow. I don't know. And there's this one. Looks like a maze. So we'll start this off at $3 for all of these. But yeah, I don't know. I was thinking maybe silverware of some sort and then you can roll it up because it's soft kind of. 
you know? And it keeps it from, like, your nicer silverwares from getting... How far does this go down? Yes, it goes all the way down to here. I could see where the line is, where the, that other piece ends. So, yeah, that would be good for silverware, you know, or something, I'm thinking. I don't know. Wait a minute, do I have the pieces? I just want to see. But I thought I had a fork over here. I use for crafting. I don't know where the hell it went. Did it disappear? Where did it go? I could have sworn it was in here. Oh, there it is. So if this was nice, yeah, I bet you this was for silverware. And this was for like, you know how you have the smaller silverware? So like, this didn't go down as far. This is probably for like the smaller, you know, you get those smaller forks. What are they called? Cocktail forks? And I don't know. I have little ones, spoons and forks. And then there's these, the bigger, longer one. I bet you that's what it's for. I bet you it was for silverware. To keep your silverware nice, you know? Because then you would just fold this over, which would protect the... Do you know what I mean? That's what I think it is. And then you would roll it like this. I think my mom had a couple of these, but they were a little different. So I bet you that's what they were for. But they would use, they would be good for like putting your paintbrushes and stuff in. You know, you can like, you know, fit your palette knife in there. Put your paintbrush in there, in that one. And then if you needed to go somewhere, you can put whatever you need in there and then roll it up and take it with you. I don't know. But I think they, these are for silverware, for like your nice silverware that you would put these in to protect it. That's why it's got this like soft kind of terry cloth, not terry cloth, but like, was it microfiber kind of feel to it? Not microfiber, but felty kind of feel because it's for silverware. It's for your nice silverware. You just put it in. I remember my mom having one of these type of things. And you put your shorter silverware up here. Oh no, this goes all the way down. Wait a minute. Oh, it does go all the way down. Okay. So you're, you put your really long stuff in there then, I guess. Oh, I thought it only went like that far. Oh, that one does. Okay, some of them do. Some of them only go so far for your small pieces, I guess. Okay, and then there's some really long ones for like your serving, you know, like the longer stuff. I bet you that's what it's for. I bet it's, that's what it's for. Because I know, I remember my mom's having this flap that she would fold over like this, and then she would roll it up like this. So, but hers was just a little bit fancier. It was nicer. You know what I mean? It's like thicker and nicer. But I remember this flap, fold her folding that over the tops of everything. Anyway. Oh, no sale? All right. Then they're my silverware thingies. <laughs> I don't have any nice silverware, so. Oh, there's that bag I was looking for. What happened to the bag? Yeah, it's probably to help your silver not tarnish. All right, so I have this thing here. I don't know what these little slots are for. Oh, this is for like a label, I think. There's two of them, so they're for... Is this, didn't I have one of these already earlier? I think there was two of these. Get in there, fool. Yeah. So you put like labels, I guess, in there. That's right, yeah, because this was like that folder thing. You would like put things in between here to keep them nice. And then, yeah, I had another one of these. It was the pinker one. This one's a blue one. That's right, I had two of these, each of these. It's a big file folder. You put your graphics in it, whatnot. And I have a whole stack of graph paper, brand new pack of graph paper. This is origami money. Um, money origami. It teaches you how to make origami out of money. And here's some practice money to use. Practice fake money. 
Look at that. Dollar bills, dollar dollar bills. You could be rich. And then there's a there's even a DVD to teach you how to make dollar bill origami in the book too. Which I learned how to make some dollar bill origami pieces. It's kinda cool. It's kinda cool when you want to give a gift, you know? Like you want to give somebody a gift of some money, but instead of, you know, it just throwing it in an envelope, you make it kind of cute. So there's that in there. And then there is a little paper mache box. You can decorate, paint, do whatever you want with. There's some little sticker things in here. Use them on your jelly plate. And here's some more of those sticker things. Again, you can use these on your jelly plate too. And then there'll be little stick, they'll be like, you know, like homemade stickers kind of. You can just cut it there so that you just get your paint on that part. And it'll cover, you know, as long as you have dark colors, it'll cover that. And here is a, I don't know, it's supposed to be a wedding accessory, but I don't know who the hell is wearing that at their wedding. I don't know. Oh, and lastly, along with this stuff will be a brand new um, photo box or whatever. One of those photo boxes. I love these things. These are great. I have one of them. But anyway, we'll start this at $3. Handy and useful. have divider things inside of it I don't remember what came inside of it it might have dividers I think it has some dividers inside of it but it's good for like your index cards if you're doing the index card things or like the screw it and do it things like when you were doing just small pieces of art you can put them in that type of thing works really good another square little box like this if I find it I'll throw it in but I don't know maybe I didn't grab it at the creative reuse if I did and I find it I'll put it in here but I'm not sure I will find it because I don't remember I remember seeing it but I'm not sure if I grabbed it or not Oh, that's cute, Janet. Huh. Little origami shirt. Well, since it's got everything in it, even if you didn't want to do it, it would be a great gift for Christmas, you know, because it's brand new. And it's got everything in it, so it would be a cute Christmas gift for somebody. You know what, I'll put these in the paper inside of this thing here so that when I go to ship it, it'll all be in there together. Yeah, for Father's Day, for the origami would be cute. Christmas, Father's Day. Jane, you got it.
I've got another faux leather um, book. As you can see, it has pink leather in it. Um, yes, it has a nice piece of pink leather and a nice piece of lime green. Another piece of green. Did I pass something? No, it's yellow on the back and it's green on the front. And then orange and white with these little nubbins on it. White, like an uh, opal or what is it called? Pearl. <laughs> Duh. And another white. Another white is like an off white. A gray. Another gray, silvery gray. It's like a really silver, silver. A dark gray. One's like a green greenish goldish color that one has a cool look to it it doesn't really show on camera but it's almost got a color changing effect to it that's kind of cool looking and then like a taupe color tan this one's like bronze gold it's got like a few different colors in that one that one's cool that one's cool and on this side we have black and black and black and black more black. And wouldn't you know it? There's black. And there's like a maroon color. This one's like a really deep kind of maroon color, which is hard to see on camera, but this is like a brown. Another brown. It's like a brownish red color. Black and brown kind of one. Another dark brown. Another dark brown. Like a walnut kind of color. metallic-y kind of looking one. Cream color. This has like some yellows to it. Cool. We'll start this at five dollars. Whenever you're ready, Jenny. All right, Joy, you got it.
There we go. I have some blue fur. <laughs> blue fur. It has a little piece off the end here, but it's a, you can make a cool journal with that. <laughs> a fuzzy journal. It's like teal. It's not really blue. It's more teal. And then there is a large piece of this fabric here. Um, whoops. It's like pink with these flowers on it and it's kind of a like a polyester blend kind of fabric it's pretty good size to use for whatever and it's got this strip here and this strip here where people I guess whoever had it cut what they wanted off of it Which, now I have to figure out how to get this all back up here <laughs> And then, lastly, there is this piece, which is kind of like a knit um, piece, and it could be like like a throw blanket almost. Yeah, it could be like a small throw blanket, but it's real it's real nice because of the fabric. It's a nice weight. It's kind of cool. It's pink and green and teal. It's a pretty good size. So we'll start this off at $3 for those three pieces of funness. Three pieces of funness. Hi, Jen. You heard teal? <laughs> oh, I lied. There's another piece in there I didn't even see. This little piece with the roses on it didn't even see that in there until I just went to get the bag. So bonus Jonas. Hey Barbara, you won it. Eight bucks. <laughs> you were able to make it after all.
You're spending your anniversary with us? Did you guys go to dinner or anything? Happy anniversary. <laughs> you had Jimmy John delivered to the hotel. <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> Here is a scrapbook. And it's got nice paper in it so you can use it for a mixed media, like an art journal. It's got like heavy, nice, really heavy white paper in it. So you can scrapbook in it or you can use it as an art journal. Because it's Canson, so obviously it's got nice Canson paper in it. And then these are like little refills for like a, um, a scrapbook. But if you don't have a scrapbook like this that fits this, you can just cut off the ends and the paper is nice and heavy. Again, it's, you know, decent, decent weight paper and you can use it for whatever. And then these are little page protectors. Um, these are small size, so you can use these, you know, in like whatever you're doing with, whether it's in a journal or in a planner or something, page protectors. There's some rub-ons in this little plastic thing here. Oh, where'd the other ones go? There they are. There's one that says handsome, such a handsome boy. This one says adorable. This one says full of spunk. This one says best buddies. A cute little set of rub-ons and then there is a gigantic clip the little tag was on it sticky's still on there really big clip you can leave it like that and put a picture in it or you could paint it decorate it there's some more of those um sparkle things the glitter glue these are really cool they've got like that iridescent kind of colors in them which is hard to see on camera but they kind of almost glow in there it's got that interference sparkle in it or whatever and then there is a stipple brush, stencil brush. So we'll start this at three bucks. Three bucks. What will I show you? Stacy, check the stop for Laura at nine. Oh. Uh, check the stop. For what, the last one? Yeah, Laura, you came in after. piece off of there and then I'm going to fold that over I'm going to run to the potty but I'll be right back
Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Christine, you got it for 12. I have another of these fabric sample books that has some, a few pages in the front cut out, but it still has a, a pretty good amount of stuff in it. Again, I'll cut off, you know, cut the fabrics. Um, since there's not a whole lot, I can easily cut this one. Some of the other ones are too thick to cut, where these are a little bit thinner. Um, it's got some really pretty patterns. Oh, some, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> and a piece of paper. Some floral patterns. A lot of greens. Good night, Jeannie. Thanks for coming. This one's got a piece cut out of it, but there's another one similar to it underneath of here. And that one. We'll start this at $3 as well. One of them's got bunched up in there. Which one is it? Which one got bunched up? There it is. Straighten your ass out. Mary Jane, are you still here? I got some Play-Doh coming up. More Play-Doh toys. Bunches of it. I forgot I had that. I know you like getting that stuff for the kids. The grandkids.
Teresa, you got it, Teresa. Yellow Play-Doh, purple Play-Doh, just making sure it's all good. I think I threw away any of the ones that weren't, weren't dried up. That one's brand new. Brand new white Play-Doh. I think, yeah, that one's still good. Blue, red. Another, like a more neon kind of red. Brown. Those little ones. This one's purple. And this one's a different purple. Oh, this one's purple and it's got a little teal mixed in, so it's like marbled. <laughs> so, don't you love when kids do that? They grab two different colors and start mixing them together. That's the fun of Play-Doh, though. To make it all turn brown. This one's not really good. I think this one's brand new, brand new purple. Another, like, neon red. Uh, brand new blue. And then these little ones are brand new. Yeah, these are new. Yeah. And then there is one of these thingies. Let me push the Play-Doh through. And it has like, sometimes they have little things you can slide in there. I think some of them were in that thing, wasn't it? The last batch you had gotten, something like that. There was some of those things, but it's mostly Play-Doh. Um, I thought it was more toys, but it's not. It's mostly Play-Doh. So anyway, we'll start this off at three bucks. What was that squishy red one? That one was nice. No, I don't want that color. What's the green one? Let's see. It will come out easy. And I dropped the thing. I'm warming it up for you. I like squishing it. Squishy, squishy, squishy. It's good for your hands, good for your arthritis actually, to squish clay and stuff and dough. Oh yeah? Yeah, I, I've, I had some, um, it was not Play-Doh, but it was like a different clay stuff, and it was like, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but it had like a glitter in it, and it never dried up or anything, and I had it, and I used to sit and squish that, but I don't know what happened to that. It might have, well, it might have dried up after several years, but I don't know. I had it for a while. Crayola brand. Some of these are rose art. The rose art ones smell different than the Play-Doh ones. I love the smell. 
of Play-Doh. I feel like it smelled stronger when I was when we were kids. All right, Mary Jane. Then get back here. I'm just trying to escape. Don't escape. another fabric sample book that has like faux leather in it and then it has some like vinyl pieces too and there's a lot in here and this is great because they're a nice size for using for like ATCs tags things like that um, but so there's like strips of them and you know they're like the perfect size for using for small projects so there's a strip of like all different brown ones and some greens and some teals and blues lighter blues more teals and like turquoise color it doesn't look it but it's like got more green than blue and this is darker blues and this is greens this is like a more olivey greens and stuff and this one's more browns more browns and this one's like browns and getting a little redder as we go these ones are a little redder they look darker on camera but this is like really dark brown these are like grays and taupes and tans and stuff more dark browns and there's blacks and then here's some Whatever the hell color this is. Tans, whatever. It was like greens, like a sage green and stuff. Like that's really sage. And they're a little darker. These are like really light butter colors to tan colors. More camel colors. Here's some yellows. Here's some purples going into lavender, into blue. Here's some purpley pinks going into pink and then like a reddish purple and here's some reds going into like a dark pink and here's mostly reds and here's orange and orangey reds and here's orange there's lots of them in here and then there's yellows and oranges and then here's some creams and whites and then here's some regular whites and then here's some grays and this is like slate colors, like they're kind of like bluish gray out there. And these are more gray and more light gray. So and my paper just went flying. Uh, where'd that go? I lost my damn paper. Anyway, we're gonna start this one at $10. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And I'm gonna try to find the paper I just lost. It flew off my table. Well, I'll just make a new one. It says 41, so. Ten bucks. I'm starting at a ten. This one's got a lot of different cool colors and pieces in it. I've got these pieces here. Looks cool, like a metallic blue.
Janie, are you getting tired or are you okay to go for a little longer? Barbara, not too much longer. I may have another auction next weekend too. Um, because, yeah, I gotta pay some bills. <laughs> so we may be looking at next Sunday or Saturday. got another pack of gel pens, a pair of funky scissors, I've got a pack of Crayola markers, and there's a, some other marker in there too, or two other markers, what are these? Oh, these are Expo markers, you know, these kind, they're the light colored, but this one might be, yeah, they're like a light color. Oh, and then there's, I'll put them in here. They were in here, I guess, to fill the box. And then there's colors of Crayola markers. There's more of those watercolor. Oh, no, these are charcoal artist pencils. See, that's why I mean. Uh, that's why I got confused with the boxes, other ones. Yeah, those are charcoal um, artist pencils. Here's some other colored pencils. And then there's some more gel pens. And some woodless colored pencils. And some more colored, these are metallic colored pencils. And then here's some pom-poms in red. Some of those like pom pom things. So we'll start this at four bucks. These are cool, metallic. Ooh, they look pretty. How pretty. Ooh, pretty. Are they metallic -y? Oh yeah, they're shiny. Huh. Interesting. How do they do that? They make it shiny. Yeah. Hmm. 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 I like the colors in these. Yep, yeah, they're shiny too. Shiny! Four bucks. <gasps> oh, these are those pens that turn different colors. Damn it, I would have snagged these if I would have known. <gasps> Yay, they write in different colors. I gotta get it working. I hate new gel pens. Ooh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so fun. Oh my God, that's fun. You can't see. Dang it. When you, when you get it, you'll see. It goes from blue to purple to, to, to green. <gasps> it's so fun. Damn it. I would have snagged these <laughs> if I would have saw them. Because I like those type of pens. I had like one once. Get out of there. I don't want to write with it. Get it going. Get going. There we go. There we go. Okay. This one goes from like purple to blue, and there is some pink in there, but it's not it's not reaching it yet. I'm surprised the ink don't like run together. This one needs to work a little bit to get to the pink. But that is so cool. Crystal, you got it when I'm done playing with it. Ooh, this one goes from like a peach color to a green and blue. Uh -huh. So you're just going to be writing with it and it'll just start being a totally different color. That is fun. Maybe I see what this one will do. Ooh, it's purple and pink. There should be some blue in there too at some point. You can't see it on camera, but when you get when you get them home, Crystal, you'll see. They're cool. Very cool.
Oh, really? No, nah, they won't, they won't, um, as long as there's gel ink in them, you can get it out. Just, just like flick it down to the tip. You just gotta move it down sometimes. I have gel, I have gel pens that I've had since, for like 25 years and they're still fine. Alright, so I've got some of these like stencil things in here. They're called tracers because you can obviously you can trace in them and write in them, you know. And there's tracer tips where you can see you can make like funky letters and stuff. And it tells you how to do it. All the things. Ew. What the hell? Why are they showing a baby's butt? But you can make things for like your scrapbooking and stuff. You can trace them to cut them out. You can trace trace them to color them in. But there's your uppercase and your lowercase. And then there's more in the plastic here. I guess they didn't put those back. You gotta flick it. That's right. And here's some of those magic dots. They're like sticky dot things, but they're like thinner. They're not like the thicker sticky dots. Then there's this little thing. It's a little like binder thing, journal thing, and it's got like this alligator guy on it. Um, and there's tape in it, which I'm sure you could pull off and put some paper over it or something. I don't know. Some kid must have owned this, but it's got, oh, that's right. It's a photo album. And it's got like little cutout pictures of cats, all cats. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, and a horse. <laughs> oh my. But it's all like tigers and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's another cat. So I just was like, oh, somebody might like that for collaging purposes. And then they could take the tape off. Open. If you take the tape off, oh, that's why they did it. Oh, they were taping that in. And you could take this out, like take the tape out. And then you could just use the cover of this to make a journal with. Then there's a binder, a cute little blue ring binder. And then there is this little uh, divination planner, the magical art of foreseeing the future. <laughs> obviously, the dates are wrong because it's from 2019, but obviously you can always put, white them out and put new dates in there. But it's got like all little check things for to-do lists and like all kinds of stuff you can make with it. It's got the full calendar and notes. And, and then this one here is a 2018 to 2019. And it's got the months. Again, you can just white out all the dates and put whatever date you want. It's even got a ruler in here that you can pull off and then put it back on. So that's a cool one. And then there is this little notebook, which looks like somebody took marker to it. and but the paper's real nice. I like this kind of paper for writing. Just jotting down notes, you know, just have it to keep notes or whatever. I keep journals like this all the time that have been used and somebody ripped the thing out just to jot some notes down on it because they work. It's paper. <laughs> and then this one here, the spine is beat up on it, but again, just for the paper reasons. The paper's pretty nice in there. So you can just take the paper out and use it or whatever. So some note making papers and then you got your other doodads. So we'll start this at three bucks.
I had the starting price set at three dollars, but that's fine if you want to put two dollars. It doesn't matter. That's fine, Barbara. Don't worry about it. Quit laughing. Why you, you can't? Don't outbid yourself. <laughs> Nobody even bid. get it for three bucks, how's that? Not five. Little dots fell out, get back here. We'll just do one more thing for today. All right, I've got this fabric uh, sample book that has some fun patterns in it and blues and then it's got multicolors orange and yellow and blue and teal whatever it is and it's got some coral and it's got pineapples pokey dots and fish and rope <laughs> More fish. It's a really nice green, but it's showing up weird. That's actually yellow, but it looks weird on camera. And that's about right on camera. For some reason that looks normal. 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 <laughs> All right, we'll start this at three bucks. And then I will get some giveaway stuff out to do because I forgot to do an extra giveaway or two so I'll put a couple things up and then we'll do our tallying up and main giveaways and all that stuff. Oh, what the hell? 
Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll improvise. Because I can't find the bag. Can't find the bag. You got it for seven. Mr. Giveaway. Mr. Nightbot can wake up now. Miss Barbara. I've got a map and some postcard, vintage postcards. They're not really vintage, but they're vintage remakes for you for that. And we'll do another one. <coughs> I have some um, cute little clips and a postcard and if I can get the other one to work with me another postcard and get those in a bag for you I don't think they're going to fit in there though are they are they I don't think so. Nope, they're not. I will clip them. They will get clipped. And these will be for Emily. And these I will clip with a piece of paper for Barbara. And then the main giveaway for the whole deal um, postcards I've got a bag of butterfly magnets or you can just use them as um, embellishments because the magnets are really light so they don't you know take up a lot of cute little but, uh, butterflies that are magnetic you know they stick to things the middle. So you can put them on your fridge or you can put stickles on them and decorate them and glue them to something because the magnet's like in the body so you don't it wouldn't it doesn't make it heavy or weird if you were to put it on like a card or in a journal or something. And then some clips. 
told you I lost the bag. I had the bag set, set aside. I don't know what the hell happened to it. Hmm. With stuff in it. But I don't know what I did with it. A whole bag of teeny tiny little erasers that are really cute. And some stickers that you can use on your jelly plate. Which I'm going to do after the auction tonight. So these are, because they're paper stickers, they'll work really well on the jelly plate. So I'll give you a whole big bunch of those. And you can make yourself some homemade stickers. Jelly plate stickers. On those. So those will be for whoever wins the final giveaway for that. And then we'll do the one... For anybody that bought stuff and all that. So if you haven't paid already, go ahead and do that via PayPal. I'm gonna get these clips in there with it. Get in there. All right, so. Let's see who the winner of that is. Laura! Laura Kai, that's for you. Oh, and I forgot. Here we go. And I'm throwing in some needles too. It's like, where did they go? Oh. Some of the, the big eye needles. Get in there, fool. I'm looking for another bag. I have other bags. I'll put it over here with your name on it, and as soon as we're done, I'll put a thing on it. Because I have bags over there on my desk. So I'll stick that there. Okay. So now I will go through and get everybody's name who bought stuff and then see if. Everybody's paid by then, and then we'll do that giveaway. Oh, there's my pen. There's my pen. Yes, we are up to the paying part now. Let me put these in order. Three, four. Okay, that's everybody. Uh, I don't think you did, Rebecca.
Good night, Shelby. All right, I will check. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see. Um, did you just get one thing, Laura? I think you just got the one thing. The fabric sample book is 17. So that's it, just 17. Oh, did you get needles, Rebecca? Did you get needles? No, I didn't write it down. No, I wrote it down, you got stuff. Rebecca. Oh yeah, you got uh, a dye, needles, and cards. Um, set of cards okay yeah you got the fabric sample book or just a die I shouldn't say dies but it's just a die Kristen, I got or Crystal, I got Karen, I got um, Joy, I got Christine, I got Stephanie, I got Barbara, what's your name, there it is, uh, I got Miss Teresa, um, Mary Jane, and Jeannie. Um, and Darla. And Stacy. And Gail. And Bima. And Carmen, where's she at? And Tina. No, that's not from this, is it? What's that from? Oh, I think that's for the shipping for the last thing, because she already gave me. No, she didn't. Yeah, that's from her shipping. Okay. That's from earlier today. Uh, okay, let me refresh. Okay, so we're just missing Rebecca, Tina, who I think went to bed, Ashley, Laura, which I think you guys are working on it. I know Laura, I think, is. So, yeah, just those people. You watch 90 Day Fiance? <laughs> oh, Ashley, you need a total? Oh, I was looking at PayPal. Your total is. Oh, hold on a 
a second. Okay, your total is 47, Ashley. Your total is 47. Didn't I tell you yours, Rebecca? Or, no, 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 I know it. That's right. Oh, somebody else. Yours is $5.50. $5.50, Rebecca. here or I'm going to have to use my bigger one. I could have sworn my smaller one was over here somewhere. Hmm. Isn't it? Isn't it? Maybe not. That's weird. I could have sworn I kept it over here somewhere. I don't know. After I clean up, I want to use my jelly plate and make some stickers out of these. Then you can make stickers and then you can, if you, you know, because they're good size, you can die cut them after you make them. You can like die cut off of these and then have sticky back die cuts. Because most dies, you know, a lot of our dies are that big, you know, or less than that big. Okay, I got Rebecca. So I'm just waiting for Ashley and Laura, right? Or did you give me yours, Laura? And I wasn't paying attention. No. Okay. Yeah, just Ashley and Laura. I think Carmen went, or not Carmen, Tina went to bed. She usually goes to bed a little earlier, so she probably did not see. The winner's going to get a, um, uh, I could speak um, a fabric sample book well you can have your choice of a fabric sample book or two life magazines the vintage life magazines oh I hear you I've been cleaning for days I've been cleaning for days and days and days. Took a couple days off because I was not feeling well and then back at it. It's exhausting. Ashley's on there now. I need that little cup. I need a cup to do our giveaway in.
come to that I can't even pick up a piece of paper. <laughs> oh, you are here, Tina. Hello. I thought you might have went to bed. I have your name right here. For some reason, I thought you left earlier, too. Your total is... Ow. I just got a cramp in my chin. Have you ever gotten a cramp in your chin before? <laughs> um, uh, $10.50. $10.50. $10 $10 I got your name right here. Ten, that's oh that if, if 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 you pay and Laura pays then that would be the first time that everybody paid. Hmm. Cool. That's the first time everybody has paid. So there will be an extra special surprise in there for whoever wins. Was your total correct? Oh, I think so. Um, let me see. I think so. I think 54, so I think yours is right, right? Oh, you get, did you, wait, you might have given me more than you should have. Well, if you did, I'll take it off of your shipping. Unless I missed something, which is possible. Because I'm trying to add it up in my, in my head, which is not ever a good thing. Well, I'll write down that you, you paid 62 so that I can look into it later and then take off of the shipping anything that's extra unless you want it back today. I don't, either way is fine by me. All right, the winner of either Fabric Sample Book or Life Magazines, plus some extra stuff. Is... Now I just banged my elbow. Stacy, Stacy Z, you win, you win. use that tape. Alright, so she gets her choice. Are you still here? I think she left because she paid earlier. She's going to get uh, either a fabric sample book, which I have a feeling she'll probably pick, or Vintage Life magazines. Congrats, Miss Stacy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for tonight. As far as the auction goes, um, I'm going to clean up. I'll get off here, clean up the mess that I have behind me. 
get it out of my way and find a place for it. <laughs> and then I will come back on and play with my jelly plate. What were you gifted? What are you talking about? In the white background, one panel. What are you talking about? What is it? You posted it? Who posted it? Oh. I don't know what I'm checking it for. <laughs> I'm checking my Facebook because it's going to be, am I tagged in it or something? I don't see anything I'm tagged in. That was my alarm telling me to take my medicine, which I should do before I get off here anyway so I don't forget. As soon as I stand up, my brain goes into a different mode. And I forget everything else I'm supposed to do. Oh, you posted it on Facebook, so I check your Facebook. All right, I'll check it in a little bit. I'm going to clean this up first, but anyway. I'll be back on probably at like midnight. It's 11.13. That'll give me a chance to get something to eat, feed the dogs, and clean up. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Unless you go to bed. Like Janie's probably going to go to bed maybe. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for coming. Poodle Pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts. Join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.